boom. I gotta. I, I wish. I really wish that button would actually hit it on YouTube because, like, literally, it would just make things so much easier. But, anyways, hello, all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I see you, every single one of you out there. Thank you for tuning in. I am Mega Amster, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity DLC Pack Two. Uh, this is actually uh, the second part that uh, continuing on from Tuesday night, and now we're gonna be continuing on with some more of the story-focused DLC here. Um, I got a few of the story chapters done, like the main one that started off before the campaign and essentially kicked off the main campaign of Age of Calamity, that Terraco mission, did that, and then I did a couple of the other um, missions where you kind of interact with the past and uh, future champions together. Uh, there was the one with Sidon and Mipha, and then the other one was Yonobo and Daruk. And so now I've still got the other two with um, Rivali and Teba, and then um, Urbosa and Riju. So we're going to go ahead and do those. I'm sure I'll unlock more, too. I, I doubt it's just those five. It could be. I don't know. But um, anyways, let me switch over to the HUD. Shout out to whoever subscribed. I think it was literally... It was yesterday, literally right after I uploaded that clip. Like that like a mini clip of the Sidon AI like glitching out from Tuesday Night Stream. Like as soon as I uploaded that, someone subbed. So like I feel like that's probably an indicator that, you know, maybe I should do some more of those. It's way easier for me to edit that too, like right off the bat, because what I'm actually doing right now too, I started doing this last stream, is I'm actually recording and streaming simultaneously. So once I'm done uh, through OBS Studios, so once I'm done streaming tonight, I'll actually have the full recording in a 1080p 60 frames, which is great because then I can just throw that in an editor. If I know a specific thing I want to clip, um then i can go ahead and edit that in and just upload it quickly i know twitch has like a clip feature i think which is way easier but like i figured you know what this way i actually get some edited stuff in there and like get some stream highlights in there for people who don't watch the streams if they're ever interested they can check out a clip and if they like it then they can check out the full streams and it, it's a win-win for everybody um but anyways like i always say at the beginning of every stream any audio or video issues please do let me know in the chat if you're watching live um, especially for the people who are watching the VOD after, they would appreciate it if there was a, a working video afterwards. I've got my, my hot apple cider with a little bit of a pinch of cinnamon, so we're good to go. Getting all cozy. But what, what I actually did last night, because I mentioned this on Tuesday's stream, I, I technically didn't fully beat the Campaign of Age of Calamity. Um, but last night I actually went ahead and finally got all the Terrico components and built Terrico. So now I actually have Terrico as a character to play as outside of the DLC, which is great. Um, actually, I'm curious, what level is he? Now that I think about it, what level is Terrico? Oh, 57. Okay, not as low as I thought it was going to be. I figured it was going to be, like, way, like, underleveled compared to all my other heroes. That's good, that's good. Um... Cool. Okay, and then I also, I did some extra, like, uh, side quests last night and, like, did some extra combos. Got some other um, side quests done to pretty much level up the existing heroes, too. So that was good. Um, what are you pointing at, buddy? Why is he pointing? He's like, look over there! What, this guy right here? Yeah, okay. I don't even know what that assist thing really is. Like, I just kind of know it, like, points things out to you. I don't know if there's actually, like, a benefit to doing missions that it's pointing out to you. Um, because notice how it has that assist thing on it. I don't really know. Oh, never mind. That's for everything. I lied. Okay. That's for everything. Um, that's just for accepting a mission. I thought it was something specific. I don't know why they point out specific ones, but anyways. Um, I don't think I want to do any upgrading or any side quests just yet, because I have, like, no rupees. I have, like, no materials. I spent a lot of them just trying to buy the necessary items to complete other side quests. So I'm just going to jump right into the next story mission for this VLC. And that is, yeah, I'm going to go with, um... Oh, Hyrule Forest. Okay, with um, Rivali and Teba. I'm guessing I... Yeah, I need both of them. Um, I don't even think I have enough rupees to buy apples. Wow. Yeah, I am <laughs> I am flat out broke right now. Um, what are the memory quests, though? Defeat 500 or more enemies. That seems attainable. 500 or more enemies. Keep the health of the Rito Captain protecting Rito Child above 50%. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one, but hopefully they can get it. Um, and then some, uh, of course, the third hidden one, but let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll see what happens. Already, I find this DLC to be a little more engaging than the first pack. Like, the first pack was good, but, like, all of Hyrule, I really, the, the story is really, the story in this game is really uh, an in integral part of it, battle. right? Compared to the original Breath of the Wild, the story here actually kind of matters a lot, like, and it's, like, up front and forefront in the game, whereas Breath of the Wild, it was, you know, a lot of the story was through separate memories and exploring the environment. Um, and this DLC pack really focuses on that story and kind of 
flushing out the little not plot holes but like the, the areas of the original main campaign that weren't really filled in before so it's kind of cool they're able to do that um so this war raged across all hyrule following the calamity's revival a young Rito who had wandered onto the battlefield, but he lost sight of the child. Okay, so it's gonna say it's Hearing not Taba, right? Ravali, no, Taba's okay. heart it's it's some other Rito child. Okay. He insisted that they rush off in search of the child. His heart filled with dread. Did somebody say Metroid dread potentially? Hashtag buy Metroid oh, dread, please. Please just buy. If you're gonna buy any game, just buy Metroid dread. Consented. The two of them hurried to the Nintendo knows we care about Metroid still. Such a good game. Though dubious of Taba's agitated state, Rivali nonetheless consented. Okay, so they're just they're heading into the forest to uh, go find the Rito child. Master Rivali. Okay, so I gotta remember, I need to uh, first of all take out 500 enemies, but also protect the um, the I guess the Rito captain that is yeah going uh going over on his own to protect the child as it is. So I gotta find. The captain. Okay, what I'm gonna do? I need to maximize. I'm gonna have Revali. Oh, there's only. Oh, it's pretty linear. Okay, there's really not much to do here. Um, in terms of like exploration, it's pretty. Some maps are like that where they they pretty much limit. Oh wow, that was fast. They really limit like where you can go um, by you know blocking out certain outposts with gates and things. So that's kind of what they're doing here. Um, I'm already at 75 KOs though, so I feel like. I feel like it's attainable, the 500, but let's see. Um, oh, did I just completely miss the entrance? There we go. We got... I don't think so, Stall Moblin. Did they have other... Um, I'm trying to think to, like, previous Zelda games. Did they have other, like... Oh, what is that? Ah, oh, no, it did the wrong guy. What the heck? I was trying to use the rune on the guy who was actually coming after me with the stasis rune there. Oh, well. Um, but I'm trying to think back to other Zelda games. Like, was there any... Um, were there other enemies besides, like, the normal Stalfos or... Um, yeah, was it just Stalfos? I'm trying to remember, like, what enemies actually, like, had, like, the skeletal forms. Because I don't think the Moblins did. Or even the Bacoblins. They were separate enemies, right? I, I, I just, the, the, their name just can't, I can't think of it right now. Um, I'm gonna have Rivali go upwards, because it looks like I unlocked both. Yeah, go fight the stall Moblin, Rivali. And I'm gonna head down here. I'm already at 147 KOs, so that's pretty solid. Unlike the other maps I did, this is definitely more contained, more, uh, more focused, which could, which could be good, but at the same time, whoa. What the hell happened to the camera there? Okay. Like I said, one of the one of the only issues I have with this game is just the camera can sometimes really screw up. Ah! Here we go. Come on. Oh, I guess I wasn't focused on him. Oh, what we got? There we go. There are bombs. I'm used to the Wizard of the Bombs. Those other more powerful ones last night with the or sorry, two nights ago were throwing me off completely. Bye bye. Okay. Um, so it looks like there should be... Oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. This will do some damage. This will rack up the videos. Sometimes I like to think about, like, the, the idea of, like, KO. Right? Because, like, I mean, in games for, like, years now, you know, they've always been referred to as KOs. Oh, rats! See? These are the, uh, rats. That's not what I want to do. These are the, um... The ones that'll... These are the stronger ones, because they're using the stasis... Or I need to use the stasis ring against them. Oh my goodness, holy crap. Oh my... I, I legit couldn't get up for, like, a solid 10 seconds there. Okay. Okay. These guys are more difficult, that's for sure. Jeez, I don't even know what's happening. Oh my god. I really wish I could see what... I, no, no. Come on. Okay. One down. What? What? What it hold up? What the heck is happening? Hey Slashkull, how's it going? What the heck was that? The game actually like froze on me for like a like not froze, but everything came to a halt and I don't know why. Maybe it was some move I did. Whew. I'm not gonna lie, I really I don't like Taba's playstyle. I know a lot of people like early on with depressions of um, Age of Calamity like 
didn't like, or reported that they did not necessarily enjoy uh, Revali's gameplay style, like in terms of like switching between flying and, um, you know, switching between flying and also like, uh, what am I trying to say? Like just ground combat, you know, so switching between those two. But like, I honestly like Revali more than Teba specifically. Hey, Alejandro, how's it going? How you doing? Good to see you both here in chat tonight. How was everyone's day? How was everyone's Thursday? Ooh. There we go. Also, Slashical, remind me, are there... Because um, I was thinking about this earlier, like, before you showed up. Um, like, right in this game, they have, like, these different skeletal forms of all these enemies, but... Is this not new to Breath, like, Breath of the Wild? Because I'm pretty sure... Oh. Oh, we found the child. Okay, cool. Um, Tiba found it. Because weren't there... I know, like, obviously there's Stalfos and um, enemies like that. But, like, I'm trying to remember, like, um... There's the Rito Captain after the yeah. Like, were there stall Moblins and enemies like that? Because I don't remember there ever being those kinds of enemies in Zelda before Breath of the Wild. Granted, I could be completely wrong. Um, I just don't remember... Because, like, in, in, like, in, in uh, these maps, like, there are stall moblins, there's the bokoblin skeletons and everything. I don't know if they're actually called, like, stall bokoblins or anything, but, like, straight up, they're pretty much just the same, uh, the same as, like, your basic enemies in this game, but just, obviously, in skeleton form. I don't remember those ever existing before in Zelda games. Isn't that, is that new to the Breath of the Wild world? Because I want to say it is, but I could be wrong. Okay, how many KOs am I at, actually? Because I gotta get over 500. Oh, rats, okay. Uh, Teba, you need to take care of those guys and make sure that the... Uh, ooh, make sure that they don't attack the Rito Captain, because that's not gonna end well. Boom! Snipe them. I gotta fly more with Revali, too. I'm not doing as much flying as I should be. You know, I think it's just, what, yeah, ZR to fly, and then... I honestly like... I, I like Revali. He's not my favorite, um... My favorite champion to play as, but definitely is solid. I, I like I said, I honestly like him better than Teba. There were stall enemies in past games, not sure which games though. Like I know yeah, Slash Call, I know there was like, you know, your typical stall post and like Ocarina of Time, you know, had the um those were stall posts, right? That appeared in Hyrule Field and like so those have been in the games for forever, but like I do not remember like stall moblins at all, but maybe like, I don't know, Twilight Princess I'm thinking. There couldn't have been in Skyward Sword, because I just played through the HD not that long ago. So I don't think? I, I don't know. <laughs> you would know better than I would, that's why I asked. But, um, okay, I'm going to have Revali head back here. Whoa, oh, crap. Holy crap. Where did you come from? What the heck? Yo, wait, they're on They're on the Octo Balloons? That's so funny. Holy crap. Can I? Ice Arrows, okay. You know who would be really nice against them? would be, uh, ooh. Revali would honestly work really well against those and maybe be able to take out those, uh, balloons. Oh, hey, listen, I just want to head over. Stop, no, 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 stop damaging the guy. Oh, rats, that did probably did a lot of damage there. I need to, uh, refocus myself here. This is tough. Oh, what, what, what? I legitimately can't see any? Oh, I, what is happening? Okay, I was literally stuck in a quarter. I could not see what was happening at all. And I got no apples, so we're looking good there. But this guy's almost done, so... Oh! What, uh, 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 come on, come on, please, please, please. Stasis then? Stasis? Oh! That's what happened before. Now I see what the issue was. I thought the game, like, almost froze on me. It's because Taba's, uh stasis rune actually... You have to point at an enemy and activate it. Why did it not work on that guy? Interesting. Oh, son of a... Oh my goodness. This is... Oh, wow. This is absolutely ridiculous. Hold up. This, uh... This... Th that spinning of move they have is really difficult. That's not gonna end well. Crap. Revali, where the hell are you, man? Can you take him out? You know what I'm wondering, actually? Let me try switching to Revali. Because I, I... Honestly, I was trying to see if maybe I could, like... Take out the uh, Octo Blues. There might be a way somehow to take him out separately, but I don't know if there is. 
I mean, at least they're flying. This gives me a little bit better of a chance. Okay, they're done. Bye bye. Uh, Revali's great. Okay. Yeah, he's getting close. He's probably at like 70% health. I gotta keep him above 50 in order to get that memory quest done. Help Tulin make their way to the target position. Oh, Tulin's the kid. Okay. The other question is, what is that other memory quest? Who knows if I'll ever find out. There's probably some secret at one of like the, the corners of the map I never went to. You know, that I had to uh, go over to. How many KOs am I at, by the way? I'm only at 283. That's really not a lot. Crap. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for more there. Um, what? Oh, okay. Because, like, what I could do... Um, you know what? I'm going to do that. I really... Because, like, I want to take out more enemies. I mean, I don't want to risk getting that captain's health lower than 50%, but, like... What do you mean, struggling in battle? Oh, that's a different captain. Wait, that's not the same captain, right? Let me check that memory quest. The Rito cat No, protecting the Rito child. So... No, that's a different one, then, right? That That's a different captain that I don't think I have to worry about, but... I really just want to, like, rack up some KOs here, because I need to for this mission. There we go. I'll do a little bit of a a little bit of cleanup work here. How's everybody's Thursday, though? Everybody have a good Thursday? Do anything fun or got any fun plans for the weekend, actually? Because I won't be streaming until at least Sunday night, so... It'll be pretty much the end of the weekend by then. I'm going to be going hiking on uh, Saturday. It was funny because my roommate and I were supposed to go hiking to uh, Mount Monadnock like a few weeks back. And... Um, we completely forgot that we so we had gone last year right around the same time like mid to late november and we completely forgot that they require you to make a reservation ahead of time and so completely forgot about that we went to um we went to all drove all the way up it takes like a two-hour drive from where we're at so it was it was a ways away um drove all the way up to Manhattan, new hampshire and literally like we got there, and they're like, yeah, you need a reservation, and we're like, oh, okay. So we ended up going somewhere else, but it, it kind of sucked that we had to go all that way just to uh, just to get turned around, you know? So it was unfortunate, but we made a reservation this weekend, so we'll be doing that on Saturday, but that's going to be a big hike. Just having dinner. Nice. Alejandro, what are you having for dinner? Anything good? I had a... Uh, the other night I made it. It's a... Uh, like a, a, a orzo chicken skillet. It was lemon with like a... Pretty cheesy. Pretty cheesy. It was almost like mac and cheese but with orzo and chicken. That's kind of how I thought of it as, but... Leftovers weren't bad either. A lot of leftovers, but... I'm sure whatever you, you're having for dinner must be very good. Oh, here the frame rate's tanking just like in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> let me... Okay, let me... Ch I gotta check on this guy. It definitely did. Okay. As long as... As long as you can see the stream still. Because that is totally what just happened. Like, for some reason, OBS just likes to dis- Like, this- it, It's happened to me maybe, like, once every couple months. Like, it's not very often, but it's really annoying when it does happen. Because it's, like, it's not an internet issue, you know? It's just randomly- ooh, It'll just randomly happen, so. I don't know. Hopefully I'm still connected. Can you all hear me? Let me know if, uh- Let me know if anything cut out or not. Because if anything cut out, definitely that could be an issue. Um, hopefully I'm good. Nothing fancy, just quesadillas. Ooh, nah, quesadilla sounds good, though. I haven't had a good quesadilla in a long time. Like, that's a nice, like, quick and easy meal to make, you know? Ah! Whoa! There, there's a, uh, there's a nice local Mexican restaurant kind of my, near my new apartment now that I've been to a couple times since moving in. Um, and they have really, they have really good food. I, I haven't tried their quesadillas, but I did try, um, what did I try? I tried, I think they were chorizo fajitas, I want to say. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, tava has got some interesting, uh, place out there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Watch out, Revali. Oh, yeah. Two electric mobins? Okay, I gotta take these out, but... 
I don't think I've tried their enchiladas. Uh, sorry, not enchiladas. I had their enchiladas the second time, actually. Yeah. I had I tried their fajitas and I tried their enchiladas, but I haven't tried the quesadillas. That's a classic. I'll have to try it one of these days. Sometimes just can't beat a good uh, quesadilla. Oh. So I don't know if uh, anybody watching, if you're interested in uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl at all, but. Um... Whoa. Oh, it's another Silver Moblin. Okay. I guess so, supposedly. I mean, I've never played Gen 4, but, like, I'm not in a rush to try these remakes. I might try them eventually. I mean, that's probably the best way I would try Gen 4, right? I mean, I can't even imagine, considering how expensive DS games have got lately, I can't even imagine how much Gen 4 goes, like, the original DS cartridge. It's probably super expensive. Um, how's the captain doing? Eh, captain's not looking too high. I gotta watch out. How many KOs am I at, though? Whoa! Stop doing your shocky thing. No, don't hit him. He's shocky. He's, he's getting electrocuted. Don't hit him. Um, let me explore a bit more with Teba here. Where are they trying to go, actually? They're trying to... Oh, they're trying to head to the... Uh, I see. Pretty much for the, the bottom part there. Um, but those remakes, like, supposedly... So, I mean, this kind of happens with a lot of Pokemon games, I guess, from what I've heard, is, like... They, retailers, for some reason, like to really, they like to release Pokemon games specifically early, for whatever reason. And I guess, I mean, it comes out in, like, what, just about a week or so? The games? I don't even know the exact release date, but, um, supposedly, yeah, they leaked, they leaked out ahead of time, like, the retailers sold them all, um, or got them out ahead of time. Some people, they were, like, uploading footage and live streaming the games. Supposedly, what happened is that, um... I don't know if it was, like, uh, the Pokemon Company or, um, Game Freak or... Because they, they weren't the ones making the remix. I forget the name of the company who they outsourced it to. But, like, I'm pretty sure, like, what happened was there's, there's a big patch that they said you're going to have to download. It's, I think it's a pre-release patch, actually, that contains a lot of the extra content. And some people are saying it's because of leakers. Like, they knew ahead of time it was going to leak. Um... And so I just find that hysterical if they did it because of that leak. It also could have been obviously because of like maybe rush development or something with those games, but you, you never really know. Um, it just I like to think that it's because of the leakers, just because they were like screw you. Like if you're gonna leak out the game anyways, we're just gonna like hide most of the content until this patch comes out. Um, so I don't know. I, I like to think that's the case, but it could also just be development times. But Alejandro, you're asking what's the basic premise of the game? Are these battles during the whole calamity again thing? Yeah, so essentially, yes, Alejandro, this takes place before Breath of the Wild. Um, I think a hundred years before, exactly. Um, I think is what the uh, the premise is. So, essentially in Breath of the Wild, um, assuming you kind of know some of the background of that, right? In that game, they talk about the Calamity, right? Um, you haven't played Pokemon since Sapphire? Wow, like, you haven't played, like... So you haven't played any generation past Gen 3? Wow, okay. Yeah, I mean, I... I actually, I've never played the original Gen 3, I only played uh, the remix, I played Alpha Sapphire, but, um, yeah, that's understandable, I feel like that's that's a, a decent crowd of people I've heard have said, like, they've only played a certain amount, um, you know, kind of stopped at a certain point. I, I actually, the recent one I tried out was Gen 7, and I thought that was pretty solid, not Gen 8, but, um, going back to explaining that for you a bit, essentially, yeah, so what, um... They talk about the Calamity, right, in Breath of the Wild a lot. And the Calamity obviously being Calamity again, the Awakening, pretty much destroying destroying Hyrule, right? And um, essentially, this game is all about them trying to, the characters like Link, Zelda, and Impa's in this game, trying to prevent the Calamity from happening. Um, and there's a whole timeline thing that happens, so it, I don't, see, I don't want to spoil it for you too much. Um... You know, I really, I really, I, I, tr I want to try not to spoil the story for you if you're interested in, like, trying it out for yourself. Um, oh, no, wrong one. Wrong one. Crap. Not what I meant to do. I mean, it, I guess it works. I could do a little bit of damage. Um, oh, shit. Uh-oh. No. I am going to... No, I'm not doing that. I need to... No! Rats! Tulin, get out of here! Crap! Let me freeze this guy. Stop it from doing a little bit of damage for a bit, because that Rito Captain, if it gets below 50% health, that lose the memory mission. Um, oh, which, uh, no, which, come on, tell me, which is it, okay, I assumed it was Stasis, I wasn't sure though, I couldn't really see it, but, yeah, essentially, they're trying to prevent the Calamity in this game, Alejandro, is what's happening here, um, and it kind of creates, like, this alternate timeline, because, like, future and past enemies, uh, sorry, not enemies, heroes kind of come together, um, that's pretty much the premise of what's happening here, so it, it gets a little wild, 
Um, and I know, I know some people are divided on, like, the fact that it's an alternate timeline and it's not, like, actually the Breath of the Wild timeline. Um, but I, I, I'll try, I don't want to really want to spoil too, too much for you. Even though, I mean, if you're watching the stream, it's, it's, it's a little bit spoilery. I'm not gonna lie, but... Um, there's that whole timeline thing going on, which is why you're seeing the future champions and the past champions in the same map. So, like, for example, we have Teba here who's the future champion, and then Revali is the past one. Um, even though in Breath, of the, in Breath of the Wild's timeline, he's he's dead. You know what I mean? He died in the Calamity, but in this game, it's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's interesting. Whoa, that move does a ton of damage. Holy crap. Okay, can you stop? I really need you to stop, like... Launching your barrels all over the place. That would be ideal. Thank you. Oh, please come on. Oh, rats. Okay. He's almost dead. There we go. That's it. Um, I wonder how they're doing on health. I'm sure they're probably fine. 492 KOs. Oh, I'm so close. I need 500. I need 500 to get that uh, memory quest. So let me. There's a few enemies in here. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a lot of enemies. Oh, jeez, okay. Now nah, we're good. I I'm going to get that 500 KOs for sure. Uh-oh. Oh, this is this the secret log thing? Yep. Mm hmm. Mm. Why am I? What the heck? No. No, no, no. Not yet. Come on. Come on, I got to take out 500 enemies. I'm actually super close, so I can probably get it. Oh, no. Ah, crap. I was really hoping to use that rune against them. I just don't know if that's going to be enough KOs, though. It's the thing. But I really don't want to risk... Um... Whoa! What happened there? Hey! 500 KOs. Is that right on time, too? I think this is the end. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> that was close. But, yeah. Essentially, just to sum it up, the premise is, like... It takes, pla it's, it takes place before Breath of the Wild, essentially in an alternate timeline where the future and past champions kind of come together. So, that's pretty much the premise of it. It's just, it's such a cool idea be applying the Hyrule Warriors formula to that concept because, like, you know, it, it looks like a massive war, you know, that all these heroes are fighting. And, like, it's just, it's a really, it was, I think it was a really, honestly, ingenious idea on Nintendo's part to make a game, a Hyrule Warriors game, based around this concept. Like, super cool. In terms of story potential and gameplay. I know I talked about that a plenty last stream, so I'm not gonna bring it up too much, but. Hey, is that it? No, it's not. Oh crap. Fire Lionel? Shit, and I don't even have rats. Okay, this is not gonna end well. I have no uh I have no apples. That's not good. I'm gonna use uh Revali for this actually. Different timelines so they they don't lose the war. Since what is shown in Breath of the Wild, their objective is trying to seal Ganon. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> I mean, since you're uh, since you're asking, Alejandra, I, I, I mean, I, I didn't want to spoil it, but like essentially, yeah. So what happens is, yeah, this is an alternate timeline where they actually do stop Calamity Ganon, um, and it's technically a different timeline than Breath of the Wild. What happens is, I, um, I, I don't know if you were watching at the beginning of last stream, but there's a little egg robot um, that essentially has like a time traveling uh, mechanic where you can actually go through time and uh, oh please hit him there we go beautiful um it has the ability to travel through time and so what it does is um the robot actually travels through time back to before the calamity to try to prevent the calamity from happening and then actually succeeds in this game boom perfect okay that's gonna that's gonna go well because that might be enough that i is that, that might even be it Take him out, Revali. Boom! Beautiful. Crap, what's going on out here, though? Oh, the Blizz robes? I gotta take these guys out, too? Oh, I don't want... No, I really don't want Teba taking those guys on, because Teba has no health, and I have zero apples. And Revali's got, like, three special attacks, so I'm just gonna go for it. But yeah, Alejandro, it also might be a little bit confusing for you because this DLC it doesn't take place in, like, order that the main campaign does. It's pretty much filling in the gaps where the main campaign doesn't. So it might be a little confusing to you, so apologies for that, but... It's a fun game. I really like it. 
yeah, if you need any other explanations, let me know. I mean, also, when Sloshicle's on, he definitely will know, too. He knows more about the background lore of some of these elements. Uh, is that it, though? I think that's it. Nice, okay. Did that captain stay above 50% health? Because that's what's going to guarantee whether I get that memory quest or not. Because I got the 500 KOs. I don't think I got the secret one. But if I at least got those other two, that'd be great. Nice, nice. Nice! Okay, perfect. Oh, okay. Well, at least I know the... A, the isolated Rito Captain. Oh! Okay. Yeah, so the Rito... That was that other Rito Captain I saw. Okay, well, now at least I know. So if I ever wanted to come back and do that, um, that memory quest, I know what it is. Cool. That map wasn't too bad. Honestly, I think that was the easiest map so far. That map with uh, Daruk and... Um, Yanobo, at least defending the outpost with that one memory quest that was like, you had to prevent any of them from entering the outpost, that was really tough. Um, I, I could not do that. They, just, they kind of just all hoard on you at the very end and go into the outpost there, but... Wasn't... Wasn't Tulin in? Thank you. Master Ravali saved your life after all. Because is Tulin an actual character in Breath of the Wild? I feel like it rings a bell. Or at least the design of Tulin. Thank you so much for saving me. What's really cool is that, um, I guess she announced it on Twitter like a little while ago when the DLC came out, but, um, Tulin is actually voiced by Christina V, who also does the voice of Hestu in this game. She's also, she's known for, uh, voicing, she does a lot of her own music, but she also voices Shantae in the Shantae games. Um, and yeah, the, I can definitely hear it. That's definitely her, too. You were nearly killed by those monsters, you know? Maybe Tulin's gonna be the future future champion. Oh! Maybe it won't be Tulin's Taba's child? Oh, wow, I didn't like even you. realize. You okay, know. that's why, because I knew I recognized Tulin. <laughs> that is true. But before that, he must surpass his old man. Love it. Look at, look at this. Three generate- well... I shouldn't say three generations necessarily, because there's honestly probably a generation in between Teba and Rivali. <laughs> but this is just so cool that we get to see all these the, the past and future champions interact like that. He accidentally went through the portal with Teba. Oh! Right, because, yeah, why? Okay. I gotta pay more attention, because I completely missed that. Um. Unless that was in the main campaign and I missed it then, You've but... Okay, that's funny. Wow, that's really funny. Okay, so yeah, Tulin went back into the past with Teba. That's so funny. I love it, though. You get to see them all interact. It's great. Um, kind of similar to what happened with Baby Sidon earlier, where you had Baby Sidon and, like, <laughs> Adult Sidon interacting. That was kind of bizarre, but... I guess there's no time paradoxes in the Zelda universe? I don't know. Cool, there we go, that's another one done. And then, oh! 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 Hello. That looks like another story quest, though, actually. Is that what that is? What is that? The Princess and the King. Okay, that does look like the next story quest. I'm gonna do the, the one with the Urbosa and Riju first, but before I do that, I'm actually gonna check out some of the, uh, the quests that I have. I don't think I can do any of these. Right? I registered a bunch of these. Like I said, I played some of this last night um, on my own time, and um, I unlocked Terrico for actual other missions outside the DLC, and I upgraded a few of the characters and things like that. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can do that yet. Can I buy stuff, though? Yeah, I can buy some stuff. Cool. I don't know how many rupees I have, though, so we'll see. Because I do need diamonds, but I don't want to spend that much money. That's a lot. I'm just going to buy one Topaz for now. Because I definitely need to buy other materials, too. Um, yeah, what do I, what do I gotta buy here? Nope. Wanna, nope, I wanna buy all of them. <laughs> I wanna buy all of them. Daifa, there we go. Daifa. Cool. Um, any others? Nah, I don't wanna do that one yet. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'll go buy some other stuff just because I have the rupees. Vasak. Um, I can't afford that, though, but... Yeah, I'll buy both of those topazes, at least. Because I definitely need those for some side quests. 
Um, cool. Okay, let me see. Let me just quickly check if I can do... I definitely can't do any of those, because they would have told me if I could. Let me just check to see... Nope. Let me check to see if I can do any of these quests before moving on to the next, uh, the next story chapter. Um... Oh, I can do this one. The Art of Flight. Asked for flight tricks by a Lido ally. Rivali wants to reflect on his past training and battles for for use as guidance. Help him prepare some useful items. Sure. Let's go for it. Oh, I must have just unlocked that one, honestly. You probably unlock some side quests for the characters that you actually play as, like, right after the you, you do the uh, the story quest. I think most of the, uh, the main campaign quests work like that, too. The Rito noted how easy it was to understand and implement the Okay, cool. Okay, interesting. Press... Oh, so they get, like, extra moves, too. That's cool. Because I don't even know if the first DLC did that. The fire bomb arrows. Nice. Okay, bomb arrows are cool. I like that. The more combo potential, the better. Because, like, it gets flashy. There's just more options to use, you know? And some moves are just ridiculously good. I uh, can't do that. Um, oh, I can do this one, too. The fight against the Calamity is such a massive undertaking. Food consumption keeps increasing. Goron City has offered provisions, but there isn't enough for the critical Goron warriors. You're playing New Horizons, so you might be quiet, but you're listening to... Do oh, literally, Sloshical, no worries. I <laughs> I will admit, like, working remotely, I have been playing a little bit of Animal Crossing during work here and there. Not a lot, but a little bit. I I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was playing a little bit earlier today, too. It's honestly, it's a nice game that you could just, like, play and then, like, put something on in the background as, like, kind of background noise. Like, for example, my streams and stuff. Um... Or, like, other... I like to do that with, like, podcasts. So I'll watch, like, a podcast and, like, play Animal Crossing while I listen. Um, it's a good game for that, because you can get a little bit done at a time. Um, which is nice. I... What did I do? To, oh, I finally unlocked crops. I was very excited for that, because, like I said, I mentioned... Uh, like I mentioned previously, I restarted my island. And I finally was able... Um, I got Leap to my island today. The new one I created. And uh, he sold some crops. He was selling me some wheat. So I'm like, hell yeah, I'll take some wheat. Because, like, the crop growing... Like, I know that was data mine like, over a year ago, I think. Um, I just think that's such a cool concept. And, like, being able to actually cook in Animal Crossing, that's so cool. Like, I love that. So, I'll be excited when I can actually, like, cook different meals and things um, with the crops that I'm growing. You know, that'll be really, really cool. Uh, let me just quickly check some of these other one categories just to see. I don't... It doesn't look like... If there's anything else I can do yet. Uh, oh, I can do that one. The instructor at the military training camp forgot some crucial materials at the... Oh, the training camp. I think that's where you can uh, raise the levels of heroes too, right? So that's cool. It's going to give give a little bit of a discount there. That's nice. New method of training. We'll see if it's cheaper, though. If it's a cheaper method of training, I don't know if I want to do it. Because <laughs> I don't know if it's good training at that point. Okay. Um, anything else? No, okay, that's it. Okay, cool. Um, oh, why is that flashing now? I didn't even notice this before. What the heck? Ah, really? I didn't know I needed the ancient core. Oh, well. I guess I'll try that next time. Um, the other thing I did actually spend some time with yesterday, this is the first DLC, right? Um, I just, I did some of these quests. Well, I didn't know. I did this quest last night with the Master Cycle. Um, okay, but I, do, I just wanted to make sure I do have these assigned to the Shika Sensor. Okay, so it'll let me know when I have the materials. Cool. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, with that, I'm just going to jump into the next one. Let's go for it. Liberate the Ancient Labs. So this is going to be, yeah, Urbosa and Riju, so this will be good. Um, Urbosa is honestly one of my, oh, rats. I really need apples, because um, that is just not good. Hopefully I can find some in this map here, but... Urbosa's really one of my favorite characters to play as in this game. She's just, she's so badass. I love playing as her. Um, and, like, I'll, I will admit, charging, trying to charge up the uh, the gauge for the lightning attacks is definitely, it, it breaks the pace a little bit, but, I mean, I honestly don't do it a whole lot. I kind of just rely on combos to, like, get enough lightning charged up. Um, Riju's also fun, but very chaotic. It's really hard to control her, I find, but she's also fun. Defeat a thousand or more enemies, okay. Four wild berries, and then whatever that one. Okay, doesn't seem too, too bad, but we'll see. 
I mean, I did kind of cut it close last uh, with the last quest with just getting 500 KOs, so then again, this could be a little difficult. In the midst of the calamity, the royal and this is Robbie and Fura narrating, I think. By monsters, and the right, this is definitely Robbie. Forced to flee. My guess is I'm pr pr you probably just unlock them at the end of uh, once you're done with all the story quests, I would guess, because the whole the whole the whole concept of this DLC is essentially Rob uh, Robbie and Puro looking back at Terrico's memories and essentially like piecing. I don't I still don't know when that takes place in terms of the timeline, but like it's essentially what's happening in terms of like how's my hair doing? <laughs> in terms of like like looking back on the calamity and everything. Um, they're looking at Terrico's memories for that, so I feel like you probably unlock them once you beat the story, but then again, we'll see. Um, the Breach of Demise, okay. Let's go! Okay, what levels are they, actually? Yeah, I should use Riju. Get to level, uh, 63. But like, like I said, like, she's very, very chaotic. Fun, but chaotic. Honestly, it's way more difficult, it's way more difficult to control, uh, the sand seal in this game than in Breath of the Wild, I find. Then again, it's been forever since I've played Breath of the Wild, to be honest, so like, maybe it is worse, I don't know. Um. Oh no, is my camera... Ugh, is my... No, wait, that wouldn't make any sense, this thing can't be dripping. He's got a new Joy-Con. If these Joy-Con were dripping, I'd be very... I'd be so upset. I was thinking I still had my, um... Whoa! Okay, I, I was thinking I still had my uh, my old Joy-Con I was using, but I'm using the new one, so... No, no, no. Okay, where am I? Yeah, Arbosa, go... Yeah, go take out some of those other enemies. I don't know. Do something useful. <laughs> Do something useful while I try to level up here. And I said any, what, four wild berries, I think? So I gotta figure out where those are. To get that memory quest done. If I really, I, I will try my best to do some of the memory quests. Um, I guess it all just depends on like what you actually need to complete them. Sloshko, I know you said to unlock the second care, the secret character for the DLC, you have this is specific uh, memory quest that you have to complete. So I don't know which one that will be, but I'll, I'm sure I'll come across it. But um, I'm kind of hoping Robbie and Pura, at least, you don't really need to kind of do that, but. Oh, yeah, Alejandro, I got a new Joy-Con, um, what, just a couple weeks ago. I got these new Joy-Con here. Oh, you can't see that. Wait, what? There you go. That's how the camera works. <laughs> I got the, uh, the purple and orange Joy-Con. Yeah, when I bought a Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania just a few weeks ago. Um, because those other ones, like, when I started playing Metroid Dread, when I started streaming it, I was using my old ones, which I had had for, what, three years or so? Over, actually, I was using it for over three years. And replaced the thumbsticks in them a couple times, and they were just drifting very badly. So I just, I, I knew I needed new ones. Um, and so I finally caved a few weeks ago and bought them at Walmart, so... That was that. Oh, hello. Whoa! Almost completely missed it there, buddy. Whoa! Yeah, it's so hard to keep track of anything with Riju. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's Hylian Captain 2. What are you doing out here? Oh, I guess, no, this isn't Gerudo. This is, um... I almost thought it was, like, the Gerudo area because of the... Maybe it's, it must be on the border of, like, the Gerudo area and, like, the regular Hyrule area. Yeah, honestly, Alejandro, I've really been liking getting, like, the colorful Joy-Con. It was fun, except first, when I first... My parents got me my Switch for Christmas, what, 2017. Um, so the year came out, and I just remember, like, I got the, uh, the red and blue Joy-Con, and not the gray ones, I got the red and blue ones, and, um, it was just, it was funny, because, like, when I first got them, I was kind of just like, oh, like, I don't, I don't know if I like the fact that they're mismatching colors and everything, um, looks like I have to go all the way back, don't I? Yeah, I think it's a way, oh, well, can I go up here? No, okay, I have to go back around. Where are Bose's at, I think? But, um, they got me the red and blue Joy-Con, uh, Switch, and I was just like, I don't know if I like the, the mismatching colors, like, it looks a little weird. And now I'm, like, all about it. Like, I got the Splatoon 2 Joy-Con, those are the ones I had for, like, three years. I still, they still work, I use them for handheld mode only now. Um, they're still kind of drifting, even with the, uh, the paper trick I used, but, um, like, and that, with those Splatoon 2 Joy-Con, the, the pink and green ones, and now the, the orange and purple ones, it's just, like, way, you know what I mean? Like, I've just gotten way into, like, the almost a complete 180 of, like, I actually like, like, mixing the colors now. 
Except I will say the white OLED Joy-Con look awesome, and I really want them, but I don't necessarily want the Switch right now, or the OLED Switch right now. Um, but the Joy-Con, though, are so tempting. Oh, yeah, it's logical. Um, this area here, is this, like, what, essentially, what area is this map in? Is this, like, near the border of, uh, like, the Gerudo area and the, and more of, like, Hylia, I guess? I mean, technically, it's all part of the same area. Um... You know what I mean? Because it almost looks like a... I, I remember on the way to Gerudo and Breath of the Wild, there are, like, canyons that look like this when going into the Gerudo area. So is that, like, essentially where this is uh, taking place? Is, like, geographically in that same area? If that makes any sense. <laughs> it reminds me of that area, at least. I remember there was some, like, uh, essentially, like, a canyon. There were some mountains you could climb up and, like, um, there were bridges you could walk along and stuff. What the heck? Did the chest just disappear? Did I did I open the chest? Maybe it counted. I don't know. I want to take out some of these enemies first and maybe see if I can get some wild berries. If they're even in here. Hello, do you have any wildberries? Maybe, possibly. Hey, there's one actually. Perfect. There we go. I'm gonna rack up the KOs now. Cause I mean I don't think I'm protecting anybody, right? So I can I can take my time a little bit with this one. Boom. Yeah, also, I realized last stream I went, like, way over two hours, so I probably won't go that crazy again. It was mostly, literally, just, like, the last 20 minutes of last stream was me going through different side quests and stuff, so I'm probably not going to do that again, but... oh, Hello. Get that chest out of here. I forgot this game hid chests, like, in Breath of the Wild like that, so... Hi, I'm going to open this chest so you can, uh... Ooh, nice, giant ancient port. That's good. The Breach of Demise near the Royal Ancient Lab. Oh, okay, because the Royal Ancient Lab is way... Yeah, that's more north, right? It's almost directly west of Pyro Castle. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why. It just this this the the landscape here just reminded me of that area. You know, when you're heading in Breath of the Wild, you're heading towards Gerudo Desert and there's kind of like this canyon area with some bridges along the sides you can walk along. It just reminded me of that, so I wasn't sure, but thank you for the clarification there. <laughs> there are definitely some environments in Breath of the Wild from what I remember. That that looks pretty similar, so it doesn't surprise me that it's not the same one. Anything in here? Ooh. Um, what are we looking at, though? I already have two wild berries. It's good. Uh, only have 300 KOs. It's not a ton, but it's something. Where's Urbosa, actually? Oh, she's waiting for me. Urbosa's like, read your heart the fuck up. What are you doing? I'm trying to I'm trying to get some KOs here, Urbosa, so I can get that memory quest done. Come on. Might as well try to do whichever ones I can while I'm at it, you know? I love that move. I love this move so much, but it literally, it's so chaotic and so hard to control. <laughs> but it's a fun one. I'm trying to think, out of all the future champions, right? I'd say Sidon's definitely my favorite to play as, because he's very consistent. Does pretty consistent damage. Um, pretty easy to control. I will say, though, his special, like, ZR move, like... I, like, where he just kind of does his smile. Like, I don't fully get what the, like, potential of that move is. But besides that, he's a really fun character to play as. Um, and can do quite a bit of damage. Riju is probably my second favorite. But, like I said, because she's so hard to control, it makes her a little unreliable at times. But she's super fun. She's the speedy character of the game, that's for sure. Um, I really like playing as Hestu. Hestu's just super fun with the Maracas. I love playing as Hestu. Um... The, um, I forget what his name is, but the, um, the monk from, like, the, the, sh the shrine, that character you can unlock. I honestly, I really like playing as him, too. Um, it's okay, Hylian Captain, I will try to save you, but this move is so difficult. <laughs> that is a really tough move. Oh, come on, please. There we go. Magnesis just in time. These, yeah, these moblins with the floating, uh, octobloons are really difficult, by the way. Like, super difficult. They That spinning move they do is brutal. Come on, do it again, I dare you. Come on. There we go. That is the end of that one. Do you have any more Wilderberries? No? Okay. Right. I was hoping for some Wilderberries. Why does that captain sound like a freaking, um... Oh, what's his name? Crap. Um, Master Koga. There we go. I was like... What the hell is that guy's name? 
I was like, why did he kind of sounded like Master Koga for some reason? Okay, yeah, I gotta head all the way over there. Any wilderberries over here? Whoa! Reggie, where'd you go? There you are. <laughs> there you are. I was gonna say, I was like, what the hell happened there? Oh, this command post I could take out too. Yeah, Urbosa, you go do that. I'm gonna go like. Can I bomb this place actually? No. Okay. I was kind of hoping I could, but can I get up here? There might be some. There might be. Oh yeah, there might be a chest up here or something. Ooh, look at that little secret area. Look, barrel. No, can't take out the barrel though. That's weird. Uh, let me see if there's anything useful up here. Oh, oh, for sure. There might be some wild berries up here. Will the berries? Wild berries? I don't know. Something like that. Um... And look at look at this. Look at how bizarre this image right here looks. Just read you, like shield surfing with the the sand seal on top of this like tiny platform. Like yeah, that's a sight to behold. That's just really funny. Where's my uh, oh? I gotta I gotta bring up my thingy, my list. Where's my list? There we go. Hello, soldiers, I will lead you into battle with a sand seal. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a motivator right there. Patricia, right, I forgot, I forgot to read your name to sand seal, Patricia. That's so funny. I love it. Okay, we're at... Okay, that's not terrible. That's not too, too bad. I know I gotta head over to where uh, Urbosa is right now, but I really just want to try to take out some enemies here first. Essentially make sure that I can get the, uh, the thousand KOs for the memory quest. I'm not in too much of a rush. It's only been an hour, not even. Ooh. I'll finish this quest up and then do at least the next story quest and see how much time I have after that. Maybe I'll have enough time for four tonight, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, something that came to mind, actually. So I guess Nintendo, um, I think it was last week, actually. They had essentially... I think it was some kind of investors meeting that they like to have with their investors, just so you know. Tell them, oh, don't worry, the Switch is good, we're gonna sell more games and stuff like that. Um, and I guess what uh, what came about from what I heard was that um, they showed, like, they had, like, a PowerPoint presentation. Um, they had, they showed some of the slides online, actually. I don't even know how they got those online. Like, I don't know if it was leaked or something or what the hell happened there, but um, it was interesting. But, like, essentially, oh, wow. Yeah, I probably shouldn't head over here just yet, to be honest. Um, but yeah, they had this... I think it was an investor's meeting. I want to say it was some kind of meeting like that. And um, they showed off, like, some stuff. They talked about, like, the future of the Switch and everything. And, like, you know, like, what stuff they have down the pipeline. And um, I guess that there was something... I know there was something that came up at some point about like some in i don't know if it was after that investors meeting or what but some ins like nintendo insiders suggesting that um the next switch might not actually be like a pro model it might end up being like an actually like the next gen switch because oh there were all those rumors beforehand that were saying oh it's going to be the nintendo switch pro it's going to be a 4k o oled screen and that was even before the switch OL uh, oled model right um so that was way before that um at this point, but though it sounds like it's going to be actually just a, um, like a successor to a Switch, essentially a Switch 2. Uh, but one concerning thing that, I mean, I don't, I don't see this happening. I really, I, I don't know how they would not get a ton of backlash from it. But, um, some ideas suggesting that this successor to the Switch might not be backwards compatible with the current games on the Switch. And, like, I mean, here's the thing. I don't see Nintendo quitting on the hybrid concept. I really don't. Um, and if they don't, like, unless it's absolutely physically impossible for them to do it, I don't see how they could make the next Switch not compatible with the old Switch games. You know what I mean? It just, it seems a bit weird. It's almost like if, um, I guess this actually is kind of true to some degree, but it's almost like if Apple, um, with their, like, next iPhone... It just, like, made it so that none of, like, absolutely, like, none of your previous apps you installed worked. You know what I mean? Which is honestly kind of a, a solid comparison, because, like, if that's what Nintendo's gonna start doing with the Switch, where it's more like a, a, like, a revision model, and they keep, like, they keep the general core Switch model intact, and they just revise it with, you know, the OLED screen, then we're gonna have 4K, bigger screen, better kickstand, better 
battery life and things like that kind of go forward. Um, I just don't see them skipping Bat Spirit's compatibility. But uh, Alejandro, you're asking, do the four Divine Beasts play a part, or they come they come from even before this? Um, actually, yeah, they do play a part in this game. Because, um, yeah, I mean, the Divine Beasts have existed in the Breath of the Wild canon for, I think, a long time. Um, how I, I feel like however long the Sheikah and this, these games have really been around. Um, but, yeah, so you actually... You get to control the Divine Beasts in these, like... Essentially, you think these maps are big? They have these massive maps where you get to control each of the Divine Beasts and, like, destroy a ton of enemies, like, within an instant. It's, it's pretty fun. The frame rate goes down a little bit, so the performance isn't spectacular, but you actually get to control them, and they do play a part. They do. Um, which is super cool. Like, you actually get to use them. Um, did I already... Oh, I already took out that cave, I guess. Ah! Big one. Big boy. Media Wizrobe. Yeah, this is the one... This is one of the more powerful Wizrobes that I was running into before. I gotta remember Stasis for this one, not the Bombs Rune. I'm just, I literally memorized the Bombs Rune for the, the Wizrobes, but these guys, uh, they require the Stasis Rune when the, when, the, when the icon shows up to take them out. Cool. Okay. 580 KOs. That's pretty solid. Let me... Uh... How's Riju doing in terms of level? Okay. I'm trying to balance out, like, all the levels of these characters, just because, like, I don't know, I've always liked doing that, and it's kind of screwed me over at some point. Yeah, no, Alejandro, it's actually pretty cool. Like I said, the frame rate's not super, super stable. Oh, Koga, what the hell, bro? What? Wait, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is, okay. This is before, um... Okay, so, I guess another spoiler alert for this game. Um, Koga kind of joins, like, your side... In this game, so you can actually play as Koga and, like, you unlock him and, like, actually helps to, like, stop the Calamity. Um, but uh, this has to take place before Koga joins you. Um, yeah, no, it has to be. Because Ko Master Koga actually joins you at some point. Which is, I find really funny, by the way. Um, and he's, he's a pretty fun character to play as. I like playing as Koga. Um... But yeah, so this that, that just that makes that makes even more sense that this must take place yeah before that happens. Now I don't remember exactly when that happens in the Asia Calamity campaign, but um, yeah, the Yigi are still being dicks. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh hey Koga, what's up, bro? But it's it's a really it's a really good game overall. And I mean, not even in terms of just gameplay, but like. This is after rescuing the champions, but before the Akala. Oh, the Akala Citadel rescue mission. Right. Okay, I do remember that. That was kind of a big story moment in the original campaign, from what I remember correctly. Um, yeah. So, like you said, Slashko. Yeah, this must be like almost immediately after you rescue all the champions there. Um, because yeah, the fact that we're fighting Koga still and he's not really on our side yet, um, that kind of gave it away for me there. Boom. There we go. I don't know how I reacted to that, but made it work. I love Koga. He's just... He's so ridiculous. Like, I love how silly he is. He's honestly... It just makes the Yiga Clan even... It makes the Yiga Clan less of a serious threat and more of just, like, these random goons that are just like, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, we just, Not these guys again. We just gotta deal with them, you know? It's funny. They love their bananas. Wah! Oh, come on. There we go. He just got buried in the ground there. That might be it. Bye, Koga. Maybe. Nope. Riju, you know, Koga's not actually in the wall, but nice try. <laughs> it still did damage, that, so it worked. It worked. Um, but yeah, so going back to the Switch stuff, like, I'm, I'm really curious to see... Obviously, I am 100% content with this Switch here. You know what I mean? Um, I, I honestly... I was tempted to get the OLED. Um, especially because I have been playing a lot more in handheld mode as of late. Ooh, not a super glowy hypey beam. Um, that's a little scary. Oh, nice! That was the nice. That was the uh, the hidden quest. That's so funny. That's funny. That had to be specifically Riju. Cool. Well, I get that memory quest without even knowing. <laughs> you heard that guy without even touching. Okay, so now there's still gonna be a million command posts. What is that big old guy? Stop staring at me with them big old eyes. Oh, and now they're, they're... Okay, they're threatening the Royal Ancient Lab. Crap, okay. Um, 
Urbosa, listen, I'm gonna need you to take care of some of them too, girl, okay? Oh yeah, she's right there. Literally, those ones that are headed right for you, I need you to do that. Oh shit, wait. Oh no, you gotta- oh crap, that'll- I just noticed that electric Lionel right there. That's not good. <laughs> that is very much not good. Um, right at the base right there. Yeah, Urbosa, head over there. I'm gonna take out these guys and then switch to Urbosa to go. Pick out that Lionel, because that's scary. This guy shouldn't be too too much of a pain to be honest. It should be pretty simple. Pretty easy. But um Yeah, I was tempted by the Olin, but like I'm still for now, like I'm not gonna get it. Maybe I'll try to get it later, but like at this point I'm just gonna wait for the next switch. Um because I am perfectly content with the switch here. You know. Um Oh, there was another one right there. I didn't even see the ice mob. Before. But no, the uh, the electric Lionel takes priority. Although I will say, Urbosa's not a great choice for the electric Lionel, considering most of her attacks are electric based. So I don't know if it might do like less damage. I don't know if that's how it works in this game. There's some elemental like properties with this game, you know, especially with like the whiz rope stabs that you have. Um, boom! Giving him the Thanos snap. Oh. Beautiful. I, that, that one's tough to time because the Lionels don't give you a lot of time to uh, to time that ice uh, rune properly. Because they are fast with that. Um, whoa. There we go. But I find it not too difficult to get the flurry rushes up on them. That's really how I play this game. I do not defend very often. I really, even though I know I should, um, I really do a lot of, um, a, a ton of dodging. And, like, really trying to dodge the right times, because, I don't know. Just, like, the the guarding breaks the pace for me, unless the only times I really will guard is against a guardian. Um, if I can't deflect the beams back at them in time. Like, only certain characters can do that, like Link, uh, Urbosa. I think there's a couple others that have the shields that can do that, but... You wouldn't mind a new Switch with a decent online service? Well, yeah, Alejandro, the, uh, the Switch isn't the issue for the online service. That's Nintendo's infrastructure. Um... That is just them not upgrading their, their network uh, infrastructure to actually be able to have a decent online service. So um, that could definitely change. That is something Nintendo can and should do at some point. Um, will they? Probably not. <laughs> but, well, you'd hope they would, especially because they're charging everybody for the uh, expansion pass now, too. But, like, um, where do I want to go, actually? Part of me kind of wants to head to the left side, but, like, I know there's nobody over there. Yeah, why not? I feel adventurous. Nobody's attacking the Royal Ancient Lab anymore, I don't think. Because the Royal Ancient Lab is just where I was, right? I think that's what I have to defend, so I think I'm fine. Yeah, so I'm going to explore around a bit and go over to some of those, take out some of those outposts, but... Yeah, no, I mean, Nintendo, I don't know. I just don't know how they don't see the need to upgrade their network infrastructure. Like, I legitimately don't. It's, it's, it is bad. It's pretty bad. Um, I was watching a, a video from a modern vintage gamer I like to watch because he has a lot of technical videos. Um, he's actually, he's a game developer. He has, he, he's a developer at an indie studio, but he does a lot of YouTube content on the hardware of Nintendo Switch and other consoles too. And like, he did a test with the, uh, the Switch OLED um, because the new dock for the Switch OLED actually has an ethernet port. And he was thinking, like, okay, well, like, if right, if they have a built-in Ethernet port, well, then maybe the the uh, network speeds, the internet speeds will be better. No. Like, literally, the Ethernet speeds for the new dock, like, were minuscule. Like, not even that much. So, like, it's all on Nintendo's network infrastructure end. The most recent Switch ads even show people playing using FaceTime. Like, wait, wait, do they actually... That's hysterical. Do they actually show people, like, separately, like, on a tablet or computer with FaceTime? And then, wait, that's actually so funny that they do that. They're aware. They know. But they just, I don't think they see it as a priority. You know, th there's that separate app that they have for, like, voice only on the Nintendo's. Ooh, those guys really took me out. What the heck? They have a stupid Nintendo Switch Online phone app that you can use to talk to people. But at that point, like, I mean, whenever I play online with Switch uh, friends, I do Discord. It's just like, they, so, <laughs> I just find that so funny that they, like, have, like, FaceTime or Zoom or whatever they use, like, separately in their ads. It's just like, yeah, it's, it's so bizarre to me. And it's not even, they know the Nintendo, and they know nobody uses the Nintendo app. They know how pathetic that app is. They really do. Um, 
And but it's like they're not doing anything about it, and that's the issue. You know what I mean? I do, I honestly don't think they care, as long as people are paying uh, paying for the online. Of course, everybody's gonna pay for the online, just even the base service, just to have that online functionality. But it's just like it's unfortunate because like they could really use a massive upgrade. And considering the fact that now with the expansion pass, people are paying almost as much as some of the PlayStation and Microsoft uh, like Xbox Live. Like, I think the cost is almost up to that point, and it's just, it's still, it's kind of crazy. Like, their online is just awful. Nintendo has really never been good with online. That is, like, probably their biggest weakness, and it's just, it sucks to see that they're still, even though they're charging people for it now, they're not improving it, you know? It really just sucks to see that. I mean, they could always, they could, they still have time. They could, they could go and improve it even more, and that would be great, but I kind of doubt they will, so... Who knows? I don't, I don't want to be the Debbie Downer, but I'm trying to be realistic here in terms of Nintendo actually caring about their network infrastructure and stuff. There was something that came out like a few months back. I think someone found out. I don't know how. I don't know if it was someone at Nintendo reported it or something that like, I guess like one of the, or I don't know if it was one of the servers they had. I don't, I don't know the context behind it, so this could be completely out of context, but like one of their servers was like meant like was built to run like windows like 95 or something like that and they were still using that for their online and i was like oh okay uh you might want to consider upgrading their bit nintendo um but then again that could be something completely out of context maybe it's specifically for testing old games i don't know um i'm at least hopeful that i mean they probably won't do anything with the i, I highly doubt they're gonna upgrade their infrastructure. I doubt it's ever going to happen. I would love for it to, but I kind of doubt it will. Um, however, I am hopeful that they actually might fix some of the emulation issues with some of the N64 games specifically. Um, especially Ocarina of Time. Like, some of the uh, fog rendering with that um, just seems really, really off. You can notice it, especially with some of those screenshots that went out with the, uh, the Shadow Link fight in the Water Temple. Like, there's supposed to be fog there that, like, really just like makes it so that water texture isn't nearly as ugly and without that fog rendering in the nintendo switch online version of the game it's just like it's, it's so it looks so weird it really really does um but i'm hopeful that that's something that maybe they can fix because it seems like an individual game basis because apparently Star Fox doesn't even have like from what i've played a little bit of multiplayer with uh, one of my friends actually and like from what i've been hearing is that the Star Fox 64 emulation on the n64 online is actually really good like it's the best way to play that game so it's it's on a per game basis mario kart 64 i think has some issues with fog rendering as well so that in that case i'm hopeful that they might be able to I don't know what they would do. Maybe, would it be patches they would introduce for that? I don't even know how that would work, but I, I'm not too knowledgeable about emulation at all. Nice, okay, that's good. Um, let's go! Ah! What's the other... Four wild berries. I still only have two. Where the hell are the other two wild berries? I just want my berries! But yeah, they just... They need it and they need to upgrade. Well... They don't see the need to upgrade their uh, online infrastructure, but they really need to. They really do. It's just bad. <laughs> this, the speeds really could be a lot better. Um, I don't know if any of you watching have noticed, but the Nintendo eShop on the Switch, it is really slow. Like, actually, it takes a while to, like, open game pages and stuff. Like, it's crazy to me. Um... I think it might even be slower than the Wii U shop, to be honest. But then again, I don't remember the Wii U shop. It's been a while. Uh, but I don't know if I remember it being that slow. Then again, that was the Wii U, so, you know, we gave it gave it a little bit of a, a little bit of leeway there. Okay, where the hell are these berries, man? Come on. I just want to find these dang berries. That's all I got to do. I got enough KOs. I did that other memory quest where I had to take out Kogo with Riju, and now I just got to find these berries. Maybe one in here. Totally what's happening here is that there's, like, literally four berries in the entire map, and I just have to, like, break open the right crates to find them. I guarantee you that's what's happening here. If I had to guess. Shoot the laser beam! Nope, just kidding. Stasis. <laughs> Urbosa's is so cool. I love Urbosa. She's awesome. Um, I actually, I do have a couple of the Breath of the Wild amiibo. Um, I really, I honestly want, um... I really want the... I think it's the, the amiibo of, of Link with the hood. 
like on the horse. Like that one's super cool. Um, you know what? I'm gonna switch to Riju and I'm gonna have Urbosa. Which ones are moving? I think these guys are moving. I'm gonna have her head over there. I'm gonna go north and take out. Uh oh. Oh, that's that other command post. I just took over that outpost. I keep calling them command posts. I know they're outposts, but in my mind, I just have them ingrained as command posts from Star Wars Battlefront 2, the classic version. That's just where. I, that's just what. It's ingrained in my memory. I can't. Uh, I can't unhear it. So, I apologize if me calling them command posts uh, upsets you a little bit. But that is what I'm doing. I'll try to call them outposts when I can, if I remember. Get him, Riju! Whoa! Whoa! No! Slow down, Maurice! Plenty of KOs here. Yeah, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna have time for a fourth mission if I had to guess. Whoa! Whoa! Hi! No, no. There we go. That'll take out one of these guys. Yeah, there's a lot of monsters showing up here, huh? Woo! That was scary. Where'd you go? There you are. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Beautiful. I finally finished watching, um... Watching through all the MCU movies last weekend. It took me, I mean, it took me several months at this point to do that. Um... My, the reason why I started originally watching all these MCU movies was because of uh, Black Widow coming out on Disney+, Plus because I hadn't seen Black Widow yet, and I wanted to catch up a bit. Um, and so I did, and I finally watched Infinity War and Endgame last weekend. Infinity War is so good. Infinity War is one of my favorite MCU movies. Um, I don't know if it is my favorite. I mean, Thor Ragnarok is probably my favorite one, to be honest. It's so funny. It's so good. Um... All the, all the cast members are great. Valkyrie's great. I mean, obviously Thor and Loki. Um, Jeff Goldblum is amazing in that movie. Um, but, like, yeah, I'm just going to try to find some of these crates over here. Maybe get some more berries, please. Maybe, possibly. That'd be great. Any berries? Wild berries, maybe. Any? No? Oh, well. <laughs> At some point. Um, but Infinity War is so good. You're all caught up. You saw the Eternals last week twice. Okay, Sloshical. Don't spoil Eternals for me, but, like, what did you think of it overall? Like, what are your overall opinions on it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Because I've heard some mixed things, and, I mean, I saw the Rotten Tomatoes score, and I don't... I never trust Rotten Tomatoes, honestly. Like, it's really... Um, they're so inconsistent, honestly. And, yes, Shang-Chi's coming to Disney Plus tomorrow. I just found that out last week, and I was like, holy crap, it's soon. Which is great. I'm watching that... I'm not going to be able to watch it tomorrow, but maybe Saturday night I'll watch it. Because um, I haven't seen Shang-Chi yet, so I'm definitely excited to watch that. I've heard really good things, but... Um, Eternals, I don't know. I heard very, very mixed things. And I don't know if it's just because of the length of the movie, because I know it's super long. I think it's as long as Endgame from what I've heard. But, like, I don't know if that's why I've heard mixed things about it. Um, I'm definitely not going to go to theaters to see it. I will wait until it comes to Disney+. Plus. I'm sure it will, like, maybe... I don't know, January, February. But I, I can definitely wait on that one. Um, but yeah, let me, let me know what your opinions are. Because I know you, Sosko, you said you were excited for it. So, As someone who was going in with high... Well, I, I don't know if I say high expectations, but at least going in excited for the film, I'd be curious to know what your thoughts about it actually ended up being. Um, okay, I pretty much... Uh, I feel like I've cleaned out this entire map. Where are the berries? Most definitely, really, one of your favorite Marvel movies. But it feels very different than your basic Marvel. Well, I mean, basic Marvel movies are decent, but, like, I tend to like the ones that stand out, so maybe it'll be good. Only issue you had was the pacing was horrendous. Oh, okay. Did it not need to be as long as it ended up being? A hard task to try. Right, and because they had so many characters... They had all these brand new characters in one film. Like, yeah, that makes sense. And it's really difficult to establish that, so... Um, I mean, hey, I mean, if you liked it, then they at least somewhat succeeded with that, right? You've been kind of done with MCU movies for a while. Haven't watched anything since Infinity War. Wait. Alejandro, did you watch Endgame, though? Alejandro, you gotta at least watch Endgame. That's the finale of it all. 
Right, because Infinity War is part one, and then Endgame's part two, where they, they end that all off. Did you not watch Endgame? I mean, honestly, that's kind of an interesting ending if you just ended with Infinity War and Thanos wins, you know what I mean? I love it. I, I honestly, like, I'm not all... I'm really mostly not a fan of when movies, like, split themselves into parts to do that. Like, The Hobbit did not need to be three parts. Oh, I can jump down here. That's what this was. Um... Hobbit really don't have to be need to be three parts. I don't know if I really liked the Deathly Hollows part one and two, but then again, I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, but Infinity War and Endgame was that split was so good. Like, I love the facts that Thanos literally wins, and then the movie ends. It's so dark, and I love it. Like, it just it still it still impacts me. I I teared up at the at the Peter scene. The Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. I teared up. I did, because it's just so impactful, even to this day. Oh, okay, okay, I was gonna say, Alejandro, like... I mean, you could have ended there, it just would have been really funny, it would have been like, oh, Thanos won, I guess that's the end of the MCU. <laughs> but no, that's honestly, that's totally fair. Um, I get that feeling. I started off the same way, and then, like, I got back into it a little bit. I mean, I watched uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, but, but I honestly got back into it a little bit with, um... Whoa! Scary boy. Whoa! Okay, listen buddy, we're gonna calm down. Um, I was like that at first after watching Endgame, and then like, I did see Far From Home a little while after, which was saw, which was pretty good, I liked it. And then um, the TV shows definitely got me a little bit more interested. Um, WandaVision, I really liked WandaVision. Um, honestly, WandaVision I think was my favorite out of all of the, the shows so far. Um, Hawkeye comes out in a couple weeks, right? So I'll be curious to see what they do there, but that'll be interesting. Whoa! I was not ready for that. Ah! <laughs> Too many scenes where they just talked. You were never bored because... Oh, cinematography is good. That's good to hear. And the music was great. Characters are very lovable. Okay, so it's like... Okay, so a lot of talking scenes, though. Okay, that, that'll be... I mean, so... I mean... I feel like they kind of have to do that because, like you said before, they're introducing all these new characters, right? The end credit scenes were crazy. And it's second longest. Right, end game's the longest, right? Um, I mean, I'm definitely curious about it, but I'm not, not enough to go see it in theaters right now. Uh, I'm also still being a little careful about what I see in theaters. I think um, no, Spider-Man No Way Home is going to be the first movie I see back in theaters since the Sonic movie last year. Um, oh, crap. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Over there now. <laughs> we gotta get over there. This is a long map, by the way. I know I've I kind of made it longer on myself just for you know, um, going ahead and taking out some of those outposts before. But like, still, like, ooh, it's just getting a little long. It's getting a little bit long. I'm definitely not gonna do more than the uh, the one of the story quests after this, but. I'm definitely somewhat interested in internals, but I'm not gonna see it. I'm gonna wait for Disney Plus to come out. Um, but interesting to know the end credit scenes are definitely crazy. Um, I'm sure they're gonna tie it in somehow to, like, other Marvel movies in that regard, but... Um, I just feel like that's kind of a pro- like, not a problem, but it's definitely a concern that a lot of people may have with, um... Oh, the heck? Okay, they went to those outposts, gotcha. I thought they were attacking that central outpost there first. Never mind, okay, I guess we're good there. Um, where's that other- hold up. Where's the- Oh, do I have to go all the way from up there? That's annoying. Um, yeah, let me go take out some of these monsters then. And be on, I gotta be on the lookout for any blocks. Let's see, because I still only have two... How do I only have two wild berries still? How do I even get four? <laughs> I, I thought I've been so careful trying to find them. Um, I feel like that's a potential... A potential concern, though, with some um, certain Marvel movies. Can I... Knock this down? No, okay. Um, a, a potential problem is that, like, it's Marvel movies that essentially have brand new characters that they're trying to introduce to people. Um, there's one reason that some of the later movies in whatever, what was it, Phase 4 or something like that, or Phase 3 maybe, I don't know. Um, one of the benefits of having those movies is that, like, and I mean, that's why Avengers worked, because, you know, we had established all these characters already. Um in their own individual movies or, you know, have their own separate character moments to introduce them. And then you build them up over time and then you get to love these characters. And so movies like the later Avengers especially 
It's like you know, you've known these characters for so long, and so that's why they're great to see in action again. Um, but then when you have cases like Eternals, for example, where you have like yeah, Slash Boy, you said ten brand like brand new characters that you're adding into the mix. It's like that can definitely be a potential concern. So if they got it right though. Tomorrow's Disney Plus Day, so I wonder if any of the new Marvel projects will be announced. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, they did announce that some of the... Uh, I don't know if it's just some of the MCU movies are going to have, like, that IMAX feature added, essentially, where I think it's pretty much just, like, widescreen, from what I can tell. Um, but that's so cool, nonetheless, that essentially they're adding, like, almost IMAX-quality picture to some of the movies. I don't think it's all of them. I think it, I think it said what? Um... It might have been Infinity War and Endgame, and then I think it's a Captain America Civil War. And then... I don't remember if there were any other ones they announced, but... Um, berry? Maybe? Please? This is berry? Hi, I want some wild berries. I need two more. Can you give them to me? Maybe? Please? Oh, honestly, over here, probably. Just some here. I should have checked this out before. But, that's true, Slash Gold. They could announce some. Considering it's Disney Plus Day tomorrow, I would not be surprised. Because the, the MCU movies has to be one of the most popular things on Disney Plus right now, I would imagine. Between that and, like, some of the Star Wars stuff and, like, classic Disney stuff, too. You know what I mean? Like, there's definitely... I feel like a lot of people would watch it for the shows, too. You know what I mean? Because you got all the MCU shows. Hawkeye's coming out in just a couple weeks. So, like... There's a lot of good shows coming out, actually, in the next, like, few months. Especially next month. I mean, we've got Hawkeye this month. But next month has Witcher Season 2, which I'm so hyped for. Um, Book of Boba, which, like, looks interesting, but I'm not crazy hyped for it. Um, but it certainly looks interesting. And then um, Cobra Kai Season 4 is coming out next month as well. There's so many good shows coming out next month. It's crazy. Um, berries, please. No. Where the hell are those berries? I feel like I've searched like everywhere. Anything over here? Maybe, please, berry. Where would I even get those berries, I wonder? So I figured they'd just be kind of lying in all these crates all around the place, but I guess not. Down we go, woo! Beautiful, okay. Let me take out some of these monsters over here too. I don't even think I'm going to be able to get all the berries at this point, considering it's already a uh, 8.20. Like, I'll probably want to just finish up this quest and then do that last story quest for the night. Um, you might return to MCU if they make a movie about Darkhawk, a character with multiple sclerosis. Oh, interesting. I've never heard of Darkhawk before, Alejandro. What is their... Uh, are they, like, an obscure hero? Or what are their powers and everything? Is it, like, a Dark Hawkeye? I'm going to guess no, but... That's super cool. I am definitely... I'm way more familiar with, like, obscure DC stuff than obscure Marvel stuff. Um, honestly, they might, down the line, someday, do something about Dark. You know what I mean? Because, like, they're doing a Moon Knight show. You know what I mean? I feel like Moon Knight's a little bit of a deep cut, right? So, like, it's possible. They could. You never know. That'd be cool. I'll have to look that up after. I don't even know, I don't even know who Darkhawk is. I like the name. It's a cool name. I considered rewatching the MCU shows when I went back and went through all the movies again, but I was like, eh, like, I had just watched them earlier this year, and I figured it, was, it wasn't worth it in that regard. Um, WandaVision, I feel like, won't be as good rewatching a second time, because one thing that I really loved about that show, I watched it with my roommate back in, like, I think it was, like, February or something, um, when it was just wrapping up was just like the fact that it was such a mystery and you were trying to figure out what was going on the whole time and i feel like re-watching it it's like since it's not a mystery anymore i feel like a little bit a little bit of it's ruined but it was a good show overall i really liked that one um i'm not as crazy about loki as everybody else is like i thought it was okay um but i didn't think it was like amazing but that's just my personal take um i know people really really like loki i thought it was just okay Falcon and Winter Soldier was pretty solid, too. I really liked what they did with, um... Definitely a more serious tone, but, I mean, it, it you know, tackled some serious issues. I mean, they were legit serious 
talks about racism and mental health, like, scattered throughout that show. There were a lot of serious themes, but I really, I liked how they handled it. You know, it was very mature in a good way. Um, and it made, it made sense for the characters, too. You know, it really, it really made sense for all of them. Alright, what else is next? Oh, that, get that boss enemy, you gotta go take him out, okay. Silver Moblins, gotcha. Or to meet me over there, girl. Let's go. Let's go take them out. We're just excited to see what they do with all these new Marvel characters. Right. Oh yeah, Monica. Um, is she? Correct me if I'm wrong, Slash Girl. Is she? Hey, we did it! Look at that! Wild berries! There were like two of them in there. Beautiful. Um, how the hell do I get down? Oh, from here. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is Monica being set up to be Miss Marvel? Is that what's happening? That's like what I've heard some stuff about Miss Marvel. Is that what's? Is that going to be Monica's character there? Um, and then yeah, Sylvie, Yelena, Shang Chi, the Eternals. Um, yeah, no, definitely. I mean, they're bringing in a lot of new characters. Um, it makes sense. We've been dealing with the same characters for a while, and I mean, you know, uh, Captain America and Iron Man are gone, so like, you gotta fill it in somehow. Um, you feel like after Endgame, they're creating a whole new storyline, gonna be a huge buildup. Honestly, yeah, no, I mean, because what else do you do after Endgame, right? You start, you don't, not start from scratch, but you really build up a lot of new stories. And then, like, another ten years from now, we're going to have another crazy um, story to go off of. Honestly, like, I was, I was convinced that the, the whole next thing about the MCU is going to be focused on the scrolls, Or, oh, hello, Guardian. Um, or they were going to bring in Galactus with the Fantastic Four, because I would love to see, like, a proper Galactus on the big screen. That would be how you get me really invested in the MCU. That would be so awesome. That Guardian already died? How? The heck? How did that... I don't know how I took out that Guardian already. That's crazy. These Guardians do not stand a chance against me. There, are, There's a lot of them, though, so I gotta keep an eye on them. Ah, you know who would be good? Oh, Yeah, you know, Urbosa is going to be way better to take out the Guardians. She can actually deflect the laser beams. But yeah, no, they're definitely building up to be a bigger story. And it makes sense. Um, hey, that's it. Nice. And I did all three of the memory quests. That's awesome. Long mission, but worth it for those memory quests. Um, it's kind of a similar situation. I mean, not to bring up Smash Brothers all the time. But I don't think I bring it up all the time. Um, it's kind of a sim similar situation with Smash Ultimate, right? They have this crazy game with all these amazing guest characters in the game. Where do you go from here, right? Sakurai's already said there's not going to be an another Smash Ultimate probably ever again, right? And so where do you go from here? You take a step back, you re uh, kind of revitalize some of the characters, introduce some new characters, and build it up to that point again, right? And like you said, Slash Girl, it's probably what they're doing with the MCU. Falcon was your least favorite so far. Yeah, I mean... I would probably say Falcon was my least favorite. Um, I think WandaVision was my favorite, but just, I, I love the mystery about that. Um, oh, no, she's not? Okay. Oh, sorry. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, because she's the daughter of um, Maria Rambeau, right? The uh, Captain Marvel's pilot friend in Captain Marvel, right? Okay. For some reason, I thought that they had mentioned she was going to be Miss Marvel. Um, she did have some kind of really powers, though, in... Thing, um, haven't you? As the chief. My Love it. To... Koga. <laughs> Didn't she have some kind of powers in um, WandaVision? Like, she was able to get through that force field somehow, like, on her own. So I feel like that implies she might have some ability. Or, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just luck. No, we stole the, the heirloom. Not that he lasted long. <laughs> yeah, Koga's kind of a joke. Don't let that get out of hand. What do you mean, how? You just got struck by lightning. I love it. <laughs> uh, Koga's just a big baby, isn't it? Okay, this is funny because... Actually, he does get the heirloom Breath of the Wild, doesn't he? Isn't that the whole point of the Gerudo area Breath of the Wild? Is you have to get the heirloom back from the Yiga clan? So that's actually really funny. That's a nice nod. Um, Miss Marvel's a new character we don't know of yet. Okay. Oh, it's a show? Oh, why do I think they were making a movie? Uh, it's so hard for me to pay attention to what they're making movie versus shows anymore. It's like, it's tough to keep up with, you know? 
She gained power. She went in and out of Wana's curse of force field too. Oh, so her powers came from her going through the force field. I gotcha. Okay. I didn't realize that. Okay. Holy crap. There's going to be a lot of story missions here, huh? Way more than I thought there were going to be. Because I've already done five of them, and now there's already... Wow. Okay. Nice. I can do another side quest, too. Grenel Peak. And I unlocked this one first, so I'll probably do Lenebu Road first. The Yiga Clan's Retreat. Interesting. Okay. I'll probably do Lenebu Road first. Um, but let me do some side quests first, actually, before I do any of that. Um, but okay, they're making a show about it. I got you. But good to know, though, that... Um, I guess that makes sense. I got a lot of rupees there. Perfect. Uh, um, I definitely needed those rupees. Uh, um, you know, the fact that she got her powers from going through Wanda's force field. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. That makes way more sense to me. Now that it's... I don't know why, like, when I first saw it, I was like, how does she have powers? And I'm like, oh, because she... Yeah. It, it makes sense when you put it that way. Okay. Um, some of these... There are a couple of these I think I could do. Yeah. From the ground up as thanks for their invaluable advice on rebuilding the Yu clan hideout a yuga foot soldier wants to give a sheikah scientist something special okay this is for koga yeah we'll do it why not why not lenebu road yeah what was lenebu road one area you wanted to see pre calamity and got it i'll have to see when i go in it because i know the name i just can't picture the place but hey i'm glad you i'm glad you got what you wanted slash that's awesome um it's just, it's super cool some of these areas they added in. Um, you know what I mean? I'm honestly, I'm really glad I got this DLC pass. Um, and here's the other one, okay. The Ways of the Master Cycle. Zelda's planning for a trek across Hyrule. Wow, it's gonna be a long trek. Oh, well she wrote it on the Master Cycle. Okay, cool. Works for me. Um, are there any other registered ones I could do, or is that it? Let me just check a few of these first, and then I'll head into that uh, Lanebu Road side quest. But I'm sure I'll, I'll recognize Lanebu Lene Pro Promenade. Okay, yeah, no, that rings a bell. Rats, I just can't think of the area. Was that, Slosh was that an early area? Was that an, uh, well, I guess early, because you can kind of go anywhere. Um, is that on the way to Zora's Domain? Because I feel like it sounds very familiar. I'll have to see. Um, yeah, let me put that on the radar. Um, I already got one for the link, so I'm good there. Um, da -da. Oh, yeah, I'll give her volley one. Why not? Oh, I can do this one, too. The Hyrulean army and the Gerudo warriors wish to interact more, but men are not allowed in Gerudo town. Right? That didn't stop Link from getting in, but he had to put on the... Uh, I will put this he had to put on the uh, Gerudo clothing in order to get by. Using huge amounts of materials, they were able to temporarily make use pavilions in markets to mingle. Okay. Nice. Always good to get those extra combos in for sure. Especially for Urbosa, because I love playing as Urbosa. It's just so fun. Um... Let me just see... Oh, I can do this one too. In an effort to strengthen the Hyrulean Army's archery brigades, they must train with the Rito Warriors. To be at the flight range for a good while. Okay. Give them the supplies. <laughs> Lanebu pomegranate. Yeah, Alejandro, that's literally what I saw at first. I was like, Lanebu pomegranate. Mm, now I want pom. I haven't had pomegranates in so, so long. Like, they're kind of, they're one of those fruits that's like a pain to eat. Because you got to take all the little seeds out. Um, also, if any of you have seen that, um, or if any of you, I should say, haven't seen that, uh, the video of the, the teacher yelling no pomegranates to her students. It's so bizarre. I love it. She just had the complete thing against pomegranates. Maybe she had an allergy. I don't know. Um, it's next to Kakariko. Okay, you pass th through it to get to Mount Lanebu in the Spring of Wisdom. Oh, right, Mount Lanebu. See, I'm so used to associating Lanebu with the water area that I'm still, like, <laughs> thinking that Lanebu is Zora's domain. It's happening once again. Strands of light coalesce into words, forming a cryptic message. Oh yeah, Maz Monk Maz Kashia. That's what his name is. Okay, I like playing as him. He's fun. He's a fun character. I just I think it's so funny that they added him in as a character, um, along with the great fairies. I don't like playing as the great fairies, ne great fairies nearly as much, but like, I still love that they're here because like they're just they're so ridiculous. They're fun to play as. Um, large stone structures. Okay, it's a narrow canyon that has a long road and large stone structures. Okay. 
FYI, a promenade is a walkway road next to waterfront. Oh, you know, I didn't know. It's good to know, though, because, like, I've heard... I've heard the term passed around, but I'm like, what the hell's a promenade? <laughs> like, Alejandro, like you said, like, I literally thought it was pomegranate. <laughs> well, not, I mean, I, I mean, not actually, but I just, I read it as pomegranate. Oh, yeah, so apparently they're getting rid of uh, dislikes on YouTube now. Well, like, I guess, so what they're doing is, um, if you're the content creator, you can still see, um, I guess you can see, like, dislikes on previous videos and stuff. Um, and, like, you can see, like, the actual dis dislike count on your current videos, but other people can't see that anymore, um, which is definitely interesting, like, because I think what they're trying to do is, I mean, a lot of companies were kind of, like, annoyed that, um, can I do any of these? Let me just double check with the, uh, what the hell is it? Oh, right there, there it is. It's you. Um, yes. did it say I could do any of these? I'm gonna guess no, right? I just want to double check while I'm here. Might as well, except if I can complete any of these while I'm at it, I might as well. Um, does not look like it though. No, okay. Um, it's definitely an interesting way to tackle the issue because the issue seems to be that like a lot of these companies are getting like almost like oh, I can switch out Impa. Um, oh, and King Rome. Who do I want to do? We're gonna do Terrico because Terrico is only level 57 and. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do, I'll do the monk. I'll do Maz Koshia. Let's do it. Um, I don't know if that's really the way to go about solving the issue. Is just remove the dislike count from other people. Like, being able to view that on the, on the videos. Because, like, people can still dislike your videos, I think. It's just it doesn't show, like, the full number. Um, and here's the thing. Like, if a video is actually garbage, right? If someone uploads, like, a spam video, right? Like, a clickbait video and you dislike it, you're not going to be able to see that other people disliked it. Like, that can actually help to inform you if it's a bad video or not. I mean, sometimes there are cases where, like, um, you know, people will just, like, spam dislike a video, but I feel like it's just, like, not really solving the I think it's just creating another problem. Um, okay, don't let any Highland Captains flee. That's going to be tough. Defeat the Strong Wizard Robes. I can do that, and then the secret one. Let's go, and it's going to be the last mission I do for tonight, and then I'll end the stream. So it'll be a little over two hours, but like I said, with this game, I'm fine with that. It's a Zelda game. It takes a while. Um, Alejandro saying, I'm guessing people are just going Zelda. to spam dislike in the comments now. Yeah, you know what? I heard that, because like someone was like, yeah. Someone was like, use my comment as a dislike counter, honestly. That's what they're going to do. You don't know if that will actually make it better for what YouTube is trying to do. I mean, not... Well, I feel like some of these bigger companies that are annoyed at like the massive amount of dislikes they're getting and like these dislike ratios they're getting first um, was to i feel like they're only going to care the about the actual like dislike like uh, the actual the icons themselves Zelda and so if they can't the see the actual dislike number then it doesn't matter um or if other people can't see that but yeah like and like you're saying they could spam dislike in the comments now i feel like that's just gonna like Meanwhile, it's just King creating Rome a i don't know death, it's just really just creating another issue soldiers. You know, I don't know. I really, I don't, I couldn't tell you how you solve that issue, but, like, at the same time, like, if people, I'm sorry, Nintendo, but, like, people disliked your expansion pass online video so much because you're not handling it well, <laughs> you know, because they don't like it. Like, if people don't like something, they don't like it, you know? That's all there is to it. I mean, then there is an issue about, like, you know, spam, like, um, spamming dislikes without actually, like, watching the video. Like, like, Kate spamming dislikes, which is definitely an issue for sure, but I don't think this is really the way to go about doing that. You know. The, the solution to the issue isn't hiding the problem, you know what I mean? But then again, like I said, I could not tell you how you're actually supposed to solve that problem. I don't know. Now we get to see some Terrico gameplay, because I actually unlocked uh, Terrico legitimately in the the base game outside of the DLC, so... We get to see that now! I actually put some time into the game. Look at that! What is Terrico special, actually? I'm not used to it before. Ooh, yeah I have, okay. I used it in the first map. By the way, Alejandro, this, uh, this little egg robot I'm playing as now, this is the one that, like, travels back in time to stop the Calamity. This is the one I was talking about earlier. This is that exact robot. Uh, and you get to unlock and play as him. You just gotta collect a bunch of, like, pieces and stuff. Which I did last night. I, I did, um... I actually... I had to do a few other side quests, but I actually did, um... 
get enough Terrico cards to unlock them. The one thing I don't know, um, and Sloshical, you might be able to answer this for me. What the heck was that? <laughs> Just clip through the floor a little bit. Um, Sloshical, you might be able to answer this for me, but, um, whoo! I know, because I know you mentioned last stream that you can unlock, or you can, you can play as Calamity Ganon, um, in this game, but how exactly do you, um, unlock Calamity Ganon? Like, do you have to pretty much do all the side quests in the game in order to unlock him, I'm guessing? Like, that's my best guess. Um, let it take me to 2010 when everything was better. Oh, are you talking about, um with YouTube specifically. Honestly, I don't even remember what YouTube was like in 2010. I didn't get big into watching YouTube until like maybe 2014. Um, well, no. You know what? No, no, no. I definitely watched YouTube before then. Um, I'm trying to think of when exactly it was though, but maybe it, maybe it was like 2011 or 2012. Um, back when I only watched like Sonic YouTubers. And then in 2014, I got more into Nintendo and Smash Brothers specifically, but um, yeah, I couldn't even tell you what it was like back in 2010. I don't even remember. Whoa! That was an ice cage? What the heck, Terrico? What are you doing? That was so cool. Okay, so I can't let any of these captains flee. Here's my thing. Uh, oh, yeah. What are you, what are you doing, Masco Shia? You gotta come help me, man. Come help me. You gotta take out these silver mobs over here. Yeah, you just have to do all the side quests. Okay, that's what I thought. Until you get to a certain one. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I'll get there eventually. It's just gonna be a while. This is the kind of game where I'll probably have to come back to it every now and then. Do a few side quests here and there, but... It's a nice game for that. It allows you to do a little bit at a time. You know? Oh! What is up with Terrico doing an ice cage? I don't even know if that's supposed to reference, honestly. Get him, Terrico! He's <laughs> spazzing out there. Beautiful. Okay. I think I was able to keep those guys around. Unless I already failed it. No, nah, okay, I didn't fail it. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I got I gotta make sure I take out the strong whiz robes, because that's part of the uh oh, I, oh crap, I gotta go I gotta go rescue the other Hylian captain too. Hello friend, I'm gonna go have you help out. Yeah, oh yeah, we got it. Oh no. Nope. Where are you what? Go over there. What are you doing? Oh now the king's here too. Awesome. King Rome. Buddy, listen. Oh, you're down there. Interesting, okay. Wait, where's the other Hylian captain, actually? Is the other Hylian captain down here? Oh, yeah, okay, rats. I gotta go help them out. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch to Rome. I'm gonna have... Maz Koshia go... No, can you go over there? Oh, you know, it's because there's different... Why can't I order him anywhere? What the heck? I'm, I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, though. Where are you? I'm coming to help you, Captain! King Rome's really fun to play as, too. Do I recognize the area? No, you know what? I definitely do. I'm definitely recognizing it a bit. Because, um, like, yeah, this definitely... And, like, the little canyon area here. I definitely remember this. Like, it's, it's, it's coming back to me now. Like I said, it's been quite a while since I've, like full on played this uh Breath of the Wild, but it's coming back to me. Whoa! Don't kick me, I'm the king! You can't kick the king! What are you doing? Whoa! Whoa! I love that you can switch between the two different forms of uh King Rome here too. Like you got his this old man form and then you've got his uh his king form here too. Your Majesty! Bro, of course I'm gonna save you. It is my duty as king to protect my people. I think I like his axe form more, to be honest. You know? Oh, there's another one? Crap, where's the other one? Ugh. Okay. Um. Okay, Maz. Maz, buddy. Okay, I'm gonna change to you. Maybe I can't... Why... Listen, I just want to order him over there. Order. Oh, I'm so stupid. Because there are gates there. Of course I can't do it. Okay. I'm an idiot. Okay. 
course, I can't order them that way. Okay, so the other captain, I'm guessing... Let me just double check. Is the other captain over here? Oh, right. I gotta zoom in. Um, oh. I don't see a captain over by that guardian. It's just over by this guy. You gotta go help him out. Let's go. I honestly... what What's the other... I don't even remember... I, okay, defeat the strong wizards. I was trying to remember what the other memory quests were. Not the area with the king, the other area with the terracotta. Memory. Oh, this area? Um, I want to say it looks familiar, but there's also there's part of me that's not fully getting it. You know? But like I said, it's been so long since I've even played Breath of the Wild. Um, ah! I gotta go back and replay, or at least, like, explore a bit in Breath of the Wild. I know I do. Uh, but yeah, honestly, like, at least the area I'm in now, it's not fully ringing a bell. Was it destroyed during the, uh, during the Calamity? I'm guessing it must have been, like, there's no way this would have, uh, stayed intact after the Calamity, right? This whole fortress. I mean, it's possible, I guess, but uh, I just, I feel like it wouldn't be. I don't know. Okay, so now here's the thing. Here's the other thing. Okay, so... Hylian Captains are still there. Cool. I really... I need to take out those Wiz Robes, though. Let me switch to Rome, actually, because Rome's taking out the Wiz Robes. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! Oh, he's getting strong here. There we go. Wail on him with that axe. Look at him go. Look at him go. Beautiful. Now I gotta capture the outpost. Yep. Okay. One cannot help but smile. <laughs> One cannot help but smile in the face of this king, the ruthless king. It looks completely different because it's not destroyed. Oh yeah. Okay. So you're saying it does get destroyed? Okay. Let me plan That made sense. That's probably why I'm not recognizing it, to be honest. Um, here's the other thing I really got to keep track of. Where the hell are the other Hylian captains? Right? I really need to make sure... There's one guy behind me there. Hello, Hylian captain. There's one guy here. There's a couple guys above. And that's what I really need to figure out. I don't, I don't want them to die. You know? Um... Let me order them both over there, because I really want to make sure those captains stay alive, but... Alright, where are you, Electric Moblin? Get over here, buddy. Get over here! I see you. You're not getting that far. I'm not letting you get too far, buddy. No. Whoa! I don't think so. The axe form's definitely faster, but less powerful. I tend to like the faster weapons, but most... Okay, so most of the stone walkways were destroyed, and a lot of the area with the fountain and greenery was flooded. Okay. That's totally why I don't recognize it, because, like, yeah, if, if that much of it was destroyed, then yeah, I just wouldn't recognize it there. Ah, rats. Coming through the rock. Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap, you just comboed me off the wall! Excuse you. That's it. Just because of that. <laughs> you made the king mad. <laughs> That's my secret, Cap. I'm always mad. One cannot help but smile. <laughs> I love the king. He's so fun. Is there anything over here? Maybe there's a secret over here. That only the king can find. No. Okay. Okay, how are the captains over there doing? How are the captains over here? Are they still here? Have they fled? I hope not. Oh, they're both over there. I see them. Okay. So there's those two over there. So, okay. As long as they're just staying back, then that's good. This guy is going right into the the, the fray the fray of the battle. I, I need to... Uh, I just took out the electric one over there. What the heck? I'm going to rescue you, Hylian Captain. The shall not stop. Ah, uh, he's so fun. I love him. <laughs> Strokes his beard casually. He knows what he's doing. He knows he's a boss. Alright, we go! Rats. Okay. 
These silver moblins with the barrels are so, like, annoying to deal with. Because when they toss those barrels out, they do a lot of damage. If you're not careful and you're not looking at those barrels, they really can. Oh, I like that. I like that. Whoa! <laughs> you can't even see what's going on! Oh, man. Okay. Crap! Nope. No, no, no. No, no, no. no I, I gotta get out. Hold on. I gotta get out of here. No. Because the fire moblin's gonna... I don't want him taking out that captain. He's gonna go after the captain. Rats. You know what I should be doing? I should be freezing him. I gotta use my, uh... I gotta use those, like, uh, elemental attacks more often, honestly. I don't, I don't use them nearly as much as I should. Because they really do a lot. There we go. You're not, you're not taking the captain out on my watch. Okay, these stupid Octoroks, too. Get out of here. The Octoroks in this game, I swear. I swear, they are so annoying. Whoa! Okay. I thought he was gonna slam on me like that. There we go. Get a flurry in there. Hopefully that'll be enough. Look at how cool... I would love to be a citizen under... I would love to be a... Yeah, a citizen under that king. Are you kidding me? I would love that. He seems like such a cool king. Okay, there's another... There's a wizard over here. What are you doing over there? Can I get down here? Nah, I gotta go around. Okay. Gotta go around and get him. Hey, buddy. I see you. Come on, over here. It's okay. Boom! Oh! That's a lot of damage. Wow. I mean, they, my characters are a little over-leveled for this mission, I think. Maybe like 10-ish levels over, so... No, now that I'm playing as King Rome again, honestly, he's one of my favorite characters. He honestly, legitimately... What the heck is that? Oh, wait. I don't have a Sheikah Slate. Oh. Interesting. So I can't do the, uh... The normal defensive moves. Interesting. Okay. Crap, crap, crap. Wait, what? I thought I ca... Oh, that's a different command post. My bad. I was gonna say I thought I captured it. No! Don't go after the Hylian Captain. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm gonna light you on fire just for that. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this guy down here. Even though I took out that outpost, like, I gotta keep an eye on this guy and make sure he's complete. Okay. What the heck? Whoa! Hello. I don't know where you came from, but okay. Yeah, let's take out the Guardian here. Those other two... Um... Hylian guards are doing okay over there. Hylian captains are doing good over there. But that guy in the south area where King Rome is, I gotta keep an eye on him because he's the one. All those uh, moblins are just kind of spawning over there. I gotta keep an eye on that. That would not end well. I feel bad for this guardian. All its legs are cut off. Just kind of... The guardians become helpless once you cut off all their legs. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. Um, Maz Koshia, I'm going to have you go after the Silver Moblins. And I, as Teriko, am going to go after this outpost. Don't engage them in battle, I swear. Okay, you know what? I, I need to be Maz at this point. Um, I'm going to have... Ter no, I'm going to stay as you. I'm going to have Teriko. Oh, crap. But I also need to be King Rome because that guy. Yep, Okay. Are the captains here yet? Yeah, of course they are. Oh, of course they are! And they're gonna... Yep, they are not gonna last against two silver moblins, so... Take them out, Mazkashia! Let's go! Alright, he's fun to play as. All these characters are great. I chose a, I chose a solid squad here, not gonna lie. Okay, no! Ice, 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 ice! No? Okay. Do I have the, uh... I should have the, Sh the Sheikah Slate as Mazkashia. I think it's just because for story purposes, um, King Rum doesn't have the Sheikah Slate abilities yet. Hammer them down! It's hammer time. Don't you dare tell me. Did that just gray out on me? Don't even tell me. Okay, no, I was gonna say, because did that is that Highland Captain dead yet? Let me switch. What is happening? No, okay, he's alive. Thank God. <laughs> I thought he died. I was so worried when he was like, I feel worthless. I was like, crap, he died, didn't he? <laughs> I thought the worst. Oh, man. 
Never trust the character dialogue. I thought I could trust you, King Rome, but I guess not. Look at how many. Oh my god. Look at how many. Look at all the enemies over there. This is such a tough one. Holy crap. Good thing I've got plenty of apples. Really? Robbie and Pooh are your favorite characters so far? That's... Wow, that's uh, that's setting up my expectations then. Because I'm definitely excited. Because they're a tag team, right? Which is super cool, by the way. Um, okay, I need to... Sorry, i got to keep paying attention to these guards here. The captains, where are they? Is that one of them? What the heck? Wait, I'm trying to see where the hell the captains are. You know, because like obviously I don't I don't want these captains dying. I don't want them fleeing, sorry, that's what I'm about to say. Ugh. Ah! I'll send you back to hell where you came from. They definitely had to have taken inspiration. Some people not like them, really? Oh, okay. Is it maybe because they're a tag team specifically? I can see that being a little divisive. I need... Okay, where the hell are the captains? I need you. Ah, yes. King Rome, I need you. Let's go after the Silver Moblin. Yeah, I, got, I know I gotta take out that outpost, but where's... Okay, one of the captains is here. Great. Where's the other one? Where's the other captain? Because uh, <laughs> I need to keep him alive. Oh, man. I don't even know. Where where, where are they? Like, I'm, tr I'm literally trying to look here. Let me look at the Battlefield info map. No, I didn't. What am I doing? Can I... No. Where the hell... Uh, I don't know. I think I just gotta take out these command posts, honestly. Oh, is it- wait, what? What the hell's down here? Is there- There's a Highland Captain there. Great. Stay alive for me, please. Um... I gotta take out- I gotta- Oh, there's a Moblin. I'll take out this guy while I'm there. Um... Ah, oh, didn't the Frozen- didn't work? There's water here, technically, right? Of course there's another Electric Moblin. We love it! Woo. Defend Zelda until- Oh my- Okay, there's too much shit going on! There's too much going on right here. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? You go help them, okay? There's too much going on with this map. I gotta pay attention to all these different moblins and... Yeah, I know, I gotta check all my allies on the menu. They're your favorite Breath of the Wild character in Zelda... Uh, Jessica. Oh, really? Okay, cool. They, they were honestly pretty cool. I like how they, um... Kind of mid obviously, that they're the younger versions of this game, right? Because they're tiny in uh, Breath of the Wild, because they shrink so much, and then you get to see them um, way younger in this game. That's just super cool. I love it. Um, that's why you love them so much. Yeah, I can understand. Um, they're pretty much the main characters of the DLC. Even the first pack, you do all those missions for them. And then, obviously, you know, with this, uh, the second wave, it's like, you know, they're looking in the memories of Terrigo here, so it's really cool. You guys almost said you want you want to die at some point? That'd be nice. Whoa! Okay, well, I can take this guy out at least. That'll do something. Okay, cool. Down one moblin. Great. Now, what the hell is everybody else up to? I really don't like that it's there we go. Oh, of course there's a Hylian captain over there. That's great. That is amazing. Um no, hold on. I'm going to go, go back over here, because there's an enemy over there. Um, there's also... Whoa! Okay. There's some guy over here. Yeah, hi. You're going to take out this Highland Captain, I know for a fact. So I'm going to burn you to hell instead. This is kind of like that uh, the mission with Daruk and Yonobu from last time, where there's just there's so much to manage here. Just trying to keep track of everything. Okay. Do me a favor. Oh, it's another. Oh, goodness. This is the Silver Moblin. Where did you come from, buddy? Where the hell have you been this whole time? At least I'm getting all these, like, elemental rods here. That's what, that's what it is. It's the rods. I can't remember what the hell they were called. I was like, oh, the whiz robe thing. Oh, the rods. Uh, 
Hopefully these Hylian captains will survive. You stay alive there, buddy. I'm gonna go take out the other command post for you. Um, what is Maz Koshia doing over there? Literally, you're doing nothing. What are you doing? I'm gonna have you stay... over there. Oh yeah, I'm trying to keep this guy alive. Right, that's what that's what Maz Koshia was doing. And then Perico's trying to take out the Kavapos. Everybody's we're spread out thin. Everybody's trying to do everything. And people say there's no skill or strategy. No, there's definitely is logical. Like, this mission alone just proves it. This mission alone proves that there definitely is strategy going on here. Okay, cool. That Highland Captain is saved for now. Can I get the chest? Thank you. Okay. Let me go take these guys out now. What is that? I'm hearing something. Almost sounds like a, a like a shrine being activated. Head to positions alongside your allies. Oh, okay, that's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do. Yeah, definitely not enough time for another story mission after this. Oh, hello. Hello, there's another Hylian captain there and Impa. Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep you alive, buddy. Let's not do this. Take out this ice moblin here. It's tough to talk because there's so much to keep track of in this mission specifically. I'm trying to really prevent any of these Hylian captains from fleeing, but it's going to be close. It's going to be a little close. Oh, this gate's down now. Perfect. Now I can take out this uh, this strong Wizrobe as well. And that way, I can... Um... Oh, okay. I can get that... Uh... Nice, level up. Get that other memory quest done. Still no idea what that... Um... That secret one is. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, you want to try that again? Oh, okay, no. I was going to say, he disappeared right at the last second. I'm like, get him. Okay. There we go. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, Mazkashia does have the runes. I figured, because, I mean, I think King Rome doesn't have them because for, you know, like, story purposes. Cool. That should get that memory quest done. Um, beautiful. I'm going to switch back to Rome and make sure that that guy's doing okay. I'm going to have... Yeah, I'm going to order Mazkoshi to go over... No? Can I not? There we go. Um, over here. I, I do still want to take up that other uh, outpost as well with... Um... Terrico while he's because Terrico's just sitting there waiting to take out that outpost. Um, almost done. We're getting there. I see the end in sight. Although there's probably going to be something else at the end of this, but we'll see. There we go. That outpost is done. Beautiful. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? I actually kind of want to do this first because just in case that maybe this is like a secret. Um, memory quest or something. I want to take out this outpost first, and then have a- whoa! And then, you know, do all the other things with, uh, all the other characters. Just just want to make sure I get the sun first. Whoa! Oh, that's it. Bye bye <laughs> Look at Terrigo. Terrigo's just so happy to be helping. You know? Is that it? Is that all the command posts? Let's block the way. Okay. So now what? The monster onslaught fight. What? Okay. Now it's just heading for the target position. Okay. Oh, nice. That was the... That was the, um... Cool. That was the optional one. Well, I'm glad I did that. Perfect. Okay. Now I just need to have all these guys meet up at these designated spots, I guess. Before, uh... Right, before ending the mission. Alright. Terrico, come join me now. You're good. You have done your duty. Nice. What? I have head headed for the target position, actually. <laughs> Is it counting me as being here? Am I supposed to do something else here? Because, uh... Oh, you know what? I need Terrico over there. That's why. Okay. That's probably what I need. Let me get Terrico over there. Did all the, uh... Did 
Did, did one of them flee? Did one of them flee at the last second? I swear. That's where that one memory in Breath of the Wild takes place. You know, you're right. There definitely is a memory. Slash Skull, remind me what the memory is, though, because I don't remember where the monk is. Yeah, because I remember there was some memory, but I don't remember what memory exactly it was. <laughs> He's just waiting for me. <laughs> you have come, my child. I'm coming, don't worry. D wait for me. <laughs> wait for me, guys. I'm here. Okay, so that isn't the mission yet, though. There's still more. Okay. Something's about to happen. Oh, you know what? It probably hasn't... It's probably grayed out because I haven't uh, completed the mission yet. Hopefully that's what it is. When the Calamity happens, when Zelda and the champions are at the gate... Right! Is this the gate itself that the, when they see the Calamity happen? Oh, crap. Okay. Here we go, Rome. You got this, bro. Oh, he's got this. Easy, buddy. Oh, you know what I wonder? Is this supposed to be the mission that we see in um, in Age of Calamity where um, King Rome quote-unquote dies? Is this that mission? No, no, no. That can't be because that was at the Hyrule Castle mission, I think. So maybe not. Um, it was just a thought. I tried. All right, Hylian Captain Buddy, listen, you're gonna have to stay alive for me just for the end of this mission here. And hopefully that'll get me the last memory quest. And that is the gate. Okay, cool. Yeah, I do remember that. That was in some of the early trailers they showed too, I wanna say. Um, they showed all like the champions there and stuff. Or, you know, not the early ones. It was probably one of the last ones actually, because they didn't wanna, I'm sure they didn't wanna reveal that ahead of time, but like. Why are there so many enemies here? Specifically going after Rome. They're trying to take out the king. You can't take out the king. He's got an axe. Look at how powerful King Rome is. He's so OP. Like, literally. You can't take him out. Oh, crap. I can't do this because I don't have a sheet to slate. Rats. Come back to bite me. It takes place right after the Calamity begins. Oh, okay. Okay. Right after the Calamity begins. Before Zelda and Link even rescue the champions. Oh, wait. Wait, then why did this mission unlock after I already did some of the champion side quests? I guess why? Ooh, that was bad. But interesting. So this actually takes place before all those? Oh, this is where he goes right after escaping the castle. So this is when we see him not actually die. But, you know, this is where we see him supposedly die in the campaign bag. Like you said, it's right after he goes from the castle. So, okay. They all think he's dead. But in actuality, he's... Fine, okay. They were so close together but separated by a single mountain, you're right. They were they were super close, weren't they? They didn't even know it. They're not in order. Okay, that uh, See, I kind of wish they were at least in order. That's a little bit confusing, I'm not gonna lie. Like I get that they're memory fragments, but like I don't know, it's still a little convoluted. Oh and no, it's not exactly okay. You said it's after that, right? It's after. So they've already been separated. I'm confused too, Slashical. But like, so, but what you were saying is this is most likely after they've already been separated and after we already think Rome is dead. And that's why you're saying they're separated by the single mountain, I'm guessing. That's what I'm guessing now, based on what you were saying before. See, if they took place, if they did take place in order, I feel like it would make a little more sense, but... There we go, we did it! King Rome is actually alive! No one can kill the king, baby! <laughs> go! <laughs> I love him. I, lo I don't know why I love playing as the king so much. He's so cool, look at him. <laughs> he's so cool. I hope he's played by Chris Pratt in the Age of Calamity movie. Because <laughs> he's just so cool. Nice, I did do them all, okay. Look at that, those last two quests did it really good. After we think Rome is dead. Okay. So yeah, so it's after we think Rome is dead, and so... Okay, because I thought he was communicating with Zelda there, but I guess I, I misread that. Okay, so they were technically in t two separate... Oh, that's... That's because, like, obviously, like, it's her dad. Like, that's so... That's so sad that she didn't even know it was he was there. And they just assumed he was dead. And right after. So King survives the castle, escapes to this area, and then retreats. Right, okay. And like you said, because the, the, the Calamity begins right at that castle moment in the main campaign. Okay. Okay, it's all coming together. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all coming together. Kronk would be proud.
Okay, it makes sense now. We're, we're getting there. <laughs> it took a little bit of uh, memory uh, memory twisting there, but we figured it out, Sloshko. We're good. Ooh, nice. Ooh, two diamonds? Damn, that's good. Uh-oh. Take him out, Rome. The fact that he's able to fight like this at his age, he's got to be old. The fact that he's able to fight like this at his age is kind of crazy. Like that massive sword. Oh, this is where that cutscene takes place. So Urbosa and the Gerudo come and rescue him. Okay. I am sorry. To have this is so cool. We get to see them interact. Urbosa. This takes place during the Great Plateau mission. Our little bird. She's on her way here. She's been searching. Okay. This is so cool. So all this stuff is happening on the sidelines. This is really cool. Our Zelda's wings have gotten so strong. She's perhaps even stronger than her mother. This is so cool though. That like we get to we get to see this happen afterwards, you know. It makes sense though, because we don't see there are certain points where we don't see certain heroes, and then there are certain like um, there's certain characters we don't see during certain battles, and then it's like all of a sudden like this fills that in. It makes sense. Like this didn't need to exist, but it's so cool that it does because we get to see what's going on. Like you said, this is during the Great Plateau mission, so it's like you get to see what's going on behind the scenes. So that's super cool. There we go. Look at that, 9-11, not too bad. Not too late. And it looks like, yeah, next next stream I'll be starting with that story mission there. The Yiga Clan's Retreat, that's what I'll be starting with next time. Um, before I wrap it up, though, I will, um, I'll do some side quests, too. Might as well. Were any of the registered ones good to go? I don't think so, right? Nah, okay, can't do any of those yet, but... Um, let me buy some stuff from stores, actually, because I have quite a bit of rupees now, that's, which is great. Um, I will take all of your topaz. Do I need more diamonds, though? How many diamonds do I need? <laughs> I need a lot of diamonds, apparently. I just got two of them from that battle. Wow. That's a lot. Um, there's no other stores I see that I can buy stuff from. For the, for the items that I need, at least. Let me just, uh, yeah, none of those. Let me see, let me go through all the quests one more time. Oh yeah, like I can do this one. Hasty recovery. The volunteer army's best two-handed sword fighter has wounded was wounded in battle against monsters. We gotta provide materials for them. Yeah, in the Great Plateau mission, they said they were unidentifiable soldiers on the battlefield. It was the king, but we didn't know. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Like, I will say, like, it's just it's so cool how they're able to like fill in some of the background details here and still have it make sense with the main story you know it's so cool i definitely i like the themes of breath of the wild but in terms of the actual story i like this story way more in age of calamity i mean it really is more of a story because you know in breath of the wild you really just got it through i mean memories i guess in that game too like the dlc here but um you know what I mean? This is this is way more of an actual consistent story, and there's just you get to see all these characters interact that you never did before. I mean, how much of you really didn't see much of the the uh, the past guardi uh, the past champions in Breath of the Wild? It was mostly the future ones, right? I mean, you saw the memories, but you didn't get to see them in action for the most part. So like, it's just it's it's so cool. This this game is really good. I just like I said last stream, and like Slosko, I know you said this was one of your favorite Switch games, like. I feel like I don't hear this game being talked about all that much, and it's so disappointing because, it, it, honestly, it's a very well-crafted game. It really is. Maybe, it's, maybe honestly, it might be more talked about if it wasn't for the first Hyrule Warriors and for that game being as crazy as it was with all the characters and everything, and I don't know. I just, I wish this game was talked about more. Maybe it, maybe it is talked about plenty and I just don't hear about it, but, like, I really wish it was talked about more. All Breath of the Wild was memories and flashbacks, and those flashbacks, we didn't even get to see any places before they were destroyed. Right, exactly. You know, there was so much we didn't get to see, and this is this game really fills in those details. This game is great for Breath of the Wild and Zelda lore overall. So much lore and background stories that went on instead, you're right. 
the memories only had so much, so... It's just, it's super cool what they were able to do with this game. And as a result, I just, I, I wish it was talked about more, you know? But, it's a good one, it really is, it's a good one. I forgot how good this game is, because I hadn't played it since, what, four months ago when I did the, the first wave of DLC, and I hadn't played it before then since, like, November, December last year, so... I, I should I should keep up to date with it more. I really should. There's a few games I need to do that for, but okay. It looks like I don't have any of the side quests I can do at the moment. Um, well, in terms of like, um, I don't have enough materials for any of them. But um, let me just quickly double check. Yes. I think it would have told me, but I just want to see for sure. I only have a few of these left actually. I did most of these with the last streams with the, you know, when I streamed the the first yes. pack. But it looks like here yes. we're. Oh, only a few left, but I can't do any of them anyways, but I think that's going to do it for the stream tonight. Um, so next time, wow, almost at 70 hours in this game, jeez. Um, next time I'll be starting with that, um, the one with, it looks like with Koga, with uh, the retreat of the, the Yiga clan, I think after, uh, after Urbosa and Reed to do some damage to them. So that'll be, so that next stream is actually going to be um, next Tuesday. So my schedule now is going to be Tuesday and Thursday nights. Still starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for all those nights. Um, however, that probably won't be the next stream. Yeah, Slash Cole, no worries. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all the back and forth discussion about the background lore and recognizing the different areas. It's definitely helping me recognize some of this stuff too. So thanks for tuning again, uh, in again. Have a great weekend. Um, but yeah, so this actually, I'll be streaming again Tuesday for this Age of Calamity DLC. But I think I actually will be streaming on Sunday night starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I've been meaning to do the Mewtwo Amiibo training for Smash Brothers for so long. It's been like a month that it's been decided at that poll, and then my friend Chase had the tiebreaker. Um, I think I'm finally going to do that this Sunday. I have been... I'm tempted to try to stream the, uh, the Animal Crossing New Horizons Happy Home Paradise DLC for the first time. The thing is, I haven't even unlocked it yet, so I can't do that yet. So it might be a little bit... Um, if it's going to take too long, then I just might not bother with that. But um, this Sunday, I'm thinking... Um, the Mewtwo Amiibo training, unless I cancel it. Otherwise, I'll announce that on Twitter.com slash MegaAmster if I do. Otherwise, I'll be streaming more of this DLC next Tuesday night. That is the 16th, it looks like, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So um, that'll be then. Thank you all for watching tonight's stream. If you did, whether it's live or uh, the VOD afterwards or in the chat or not, I appreciate it regardless. Um, I always appreciate all the views. It's honestly, it's 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 heartwarming to have all these people. It's kind of it's so still so surreal to me that legit like actual people are watching. I, I don't have a ton of viewers for sure, but like people are actually watching my streams. And like in some cases, we I have a few people like Slashkol Alejandro. I know Jared shows up occasionally, um, and some other few, a few faces here and there that actually show up and like interact. It's still so it's still surreal to me that like it's like I'm actually interacting with some of you, which is great because like I I love talking about games. I love playing games and I love interacting with you. And really talking about the great moments of a lot of these games. Sometimes the not so great moments like Nintendo Switch Online tonight. But it's always a good time. So anyways, thank you so much for watching if you did. And I will catch you on the next, um, whether it's the Smash Brothers and Mewtwo Amiibo training stream this weekend. Or the next uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity DLC Wave 2 live stream next week. So anyways, have a great, great weekend. Um, do whatever, do whatever you got to do to be happy, whether it's spending time with people, just being alone. Like me, I'm an introvert. I spend a lot of time alone, whatever you got to do to be happy, you do that. And I will see you next time. Take care.